and let's see what all is around it mm. from from a bird's eye point of view if i can call it i flew the drone went up mm. looked pretty but you can't see the result of it right there because you have to wait for the 36 or the 38 shots to get done then take the roll out very carefully wind it all take it to the color lab let them develop it print it and then give you copies to realize ke you messed up all journey a self <coughs> education wala journey tha of course internet helps big way would I you mind naming a few photographers whom you admire and whom you follow yeah the <coughs> Uh, there's a person called even though we haven't done an mba but mane badu aavde correct one massive screen with two holes in it and <laughs> there could have been a criminal proceeding as oh, well yeah, so damage to pro- personal property for sure private property damage kiya aapne right and that too of a royal here peshe se to technical producer hai लेकिन इनका दिल इन्होंने वाइल्ड लाइफ फोटोग्राफी को दे रखा है तो जाहिर सी बात है इस कन्वर्जेशन का एक लार्ज पोर्शन हमने वाइल्ड लाइफ फोटोग्राफी के बारे में बात की हालांकि इनका प्रोफेशनल लाइफ भी कम रोमांचक नहीं है एक टेक्निकल प्रोड्यूसर और ऑब्लिक इवेंट मैनेजर के लाइफ में क्या क्या चैलेंजेस आती हैं क्या क्या गलतियाँ होती हैं और उनको कैसे संभालना होता है ये भी उनसे जाना और इस इवेंट मैनेजमेंट के दौरान एक कांड जिसमें वो जेल जाते जाते बचे लाखों करोड़ों का नुकसान करते करते बचे वो हमारे साथ उन्होंने शेयर किया जो शायद कहीं नहीं अवेलेबल है इंटरनेट पे उम्मीद है आपको ये कन्वर्जेशन अच्छा लगेगा और इससे कुछ सीखने मिलेगा सो विल स्टार्ट विथ समथिंग दैट मैन डोंट डू यूजली दैट यू स्मेल रियली गुड टूडे वॉट परफ्यूम इट इज एंड वेयर डिड दिस चस्का ऑफ परफ्यूम्स काम विच परफ्यूम इज इट फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन and i can tell you an answer that you might not have heard Achha. i don't even know the name of the perfume i am <laughs> <laughs> i'm i'm terrible with fragrances uh uh-huh. uh so i never buy my own fragrances no perfumes no deos no nothing i ever buy for my own self ha uh-huh. I always depend on somebody else who has a good taste in the fragrance side of things ha uh-huh. to buy for me and gift me and i'll just use it hmm. so i have a few at home and i just pick up one random apply it and and go out mm. so this was bought by my girlfriend mm. and she would know more details about <laughs> what fragrance woody earthy fruity this that and the other but i don't even know the name of the brand <laughs> guys we are cancelling this podcast <laughs> meer is going home we will have <laughs> his girlfriend next week i don't want to take the name i could have taken name <laughs> So oh, yeah, that's yeah. me and but, fragrances. <laughs> but then it is a compliment to your girlfriend ke bahut acha smell kar raha hai. It's, it's I shall convey the message. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now I'll come to the point that I wanted to. <clears throat> There is a shot that you have taken in uh, it's a drone shot of uh, yahan pe Sanjay Gandhi National Park ka mm. green mm. this thing. Now uh, an amateur or uh, someone who doesn't know this craft will say kya hai drone aayega to har koi acha khech sakta hai is meer ki kya kalakari hai. but me seeing things for the last 2 3 years understanding what photography is what frame is i know a lot has gone into it so i want to understand where do you where does that perspective come from ye nazariya meer ke paas kahan se aaya i don't want to understand the technicality ke right. shot kaise liya aapne drone se ye nazariya ke ye upar ja ke ye shot lenge ye acha lagega right take me back there Are you, are you referring to the one that has the Sanjay Gandhi National Park <coughs> bridge and a shot that just rotates and going going up and coming downward? Is yes. that the one you are referring yes. to? Yes. Okay. So uh, I'll take you even uh, further in the past, maybe. Huh. I'm generally a person who loves bridges. Huh. So any bridge, whether it's a modern uh, construction huh. or something super ancient where there's just two pipes connecting. two side of a river or or a behta hua jharna or whatever ha huh. i'd love that ha huh. if i'm passing through a bridge i'd always if there is a chance to do so hmm. i'd always take a pause look at it appreciate the beauty of it maybe capture it and and then continue the journey forward to hmm. bridge agar hai to kuch to main keeda karunga uske sath huh. utna guarantee hai ha huh. So me and and my sister had gone to Sanjay Gandhi National Park, mm. and I have crossed this bridge way way many times before I had the drone. Mm. Cycling करते हुए या बस में कानेरी केव जाते हुए या चल के. And I always wanted to see के अगर ये bridge को center में रख दो, mm. तो I want to see what's all around it from that perspective. Mm. And I could never do it without a drone. Mm. So then, when I had a drone, I went there to see. Okay, let's see how this bridge looks if you place it right in the center of the frame, mm. and let's see what all is around it mm. from from a bird's eye point of view, if I can call it. Mm-hmm. And then I flew the drone, went up, 
mm. looked pretty because just one bridge you can see and just there's greenery all around mm. and i think it was right after or right around the monsoon so greenery be kafi lush greenery tha mm. and um, i had a few orbits and like few different types of shots that that uh, usually drone pilots kind of end up shooting mm. and i did those <coughs> came back home edited it color corrected it a little and mm. looked pretty to me mm. it it showed the bridge in a kind of a habitat or an environment that we are not very used to seeing hmm. bridge matlab aapko ek river dikhega piche kuch skyline hoga jaise wahan pe painting mein bridge dikh raha hai usually hmm. those are the kind of bridge shots that you see hmm. so i thought this was a, a different way of looking hmm. at a bridge and hmm. it was just an experiment that went okay i guess mm-hmm. there's one more shot i think I, i don't know whether it was of the same day or some other day where there is greenery and there 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 is there are buildings it looks like there is green jungle and there and then cement jungle <coughs> Was it of the same day or some yes, other day? Yes, same day. <coughs> same day, same location even. Hmm. And that shot was basically, uh, it starts off high, up high in the sky, hmm. which has the skyline of Mumbai showing. Hmm. And then slowly the drone reduces its altitude hmm. to lose the cityscape and hmm. just capture the jungle. Hmm. So the the idea behind the shot was that let's leave the city and go to the jungles. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So you start off on the city skyline and then drop the altitude to come back. Mm-hmm. Um so what I figured out is ke jungle mein reh ke bhi city bahut pyara dikh raha tha. Mm-hmm. But mujhe jungle mein jaake city nahi dekhna tha us din. Mm-hmm. I wanted to forget about the city. So I started the shot pretty high up uh mm-hmm. just having the city mm-hmm. and then slowly comes down to eventually lose the cityscape from the horizon and just have the the green cover that mm. that Sanjay Gandhi National Park is all about mm. so again mm. uh experiment mm. uh and and mm. went off okay mujhe <coughs> city nahi dekhna tha tha se mujhe dhyan aa raha hai ki aapko insano se kya takleef hai kyunki <laughs> 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 वाइल्ड लाइफ ही दिखता है मुझे ऑफ कोर्स यू डू पोर्ट्रेट्स ऑल्सो एंड वेरी गुड वो भी बहुत अच्छा करते हैं आप बट ज़्यादातर आई सी दैट वैन यू टॉक अबाउट वाइल्ड लाइफ फोटोग्राफी दैट इज़ अ डिफरेंट स्पार्क इन योर आइज और पोर्ट्रेट कर रहे हैं बस वो है अब कुछ कुछ क्लाइंट्स हैं यहाँ दोस्त हैं करने बोल रहे हैं तो कर रहे हैं इट्स एज इफ यू आर यू नो अनविलिंगली डूइंग पोर्ट्रेट्स एंड इट डजेंट आउटपुट में नहीं पता चलता है डोंट वरी मी नोइंग यू Knowing you saying that ke, because I have never heard you. Arey Vivek, ye couple ke na inke us shoot me gaya me aur kya photo liya maine unka ne. You would be like, idhar gaya me aur mere ko Neelam dikhi. And I'm like Neelam hogi koi khubsurat ladki. And then you're talking about <laughs> a leopard. <laughs> so what is this? Where where did this? When did this obsession obsession start? Or kaise kya? <laughs> I think from from my childhood I was a person who was very fascinated by the natural world and and um animals birds underwater and stuff like that. Hmm. But when maybe I used to hardly ever watch Cartoon Network and and Pogo and and the likes. Hmm. I used to always be very attached to Nat Geo's Discovery and and all of those. Hmm. So I don't know the reason or the rationale behind why like that but mm. I have always been that person. Mm. And then once I mean before before that first safari holiday that I went for mm. I was only into watching wildlife and about the natural wonders on TV or on documentaries. Mm. I was never into I want to go capture it. Mm. But I thought ek bar ke chalo let's go on a safari holiday let's see how how it feels to be in the jungle hmm. and probably get to see a tiger or a leopard like few feet away from you hmm. from a jeep hmm. and how does that experience feel like hmm. and that first experience was so magical hmm. ke I got hooked to it hmm. ke fir fir I haven't stopped or shifted focus anywhere else hmm. and I think after that first safari I just continued on on wildlife holidays and things like that so there was a connect long ago hmm. and it converted into me getting fascinated by i want to not just see it <coughs> captured by somebody else i want to go capture it myself hmm. so wo ek transition tha but mujhe insano se koi 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 nafrat nahi hai thank goodness pehla camera kaun sa tha aapka first camera if you can if whichever camera you remember mera khud ka camera pehla tha 
निकॉन पी एटी जो पापा ने मुझे गिफ्ट किया था डिजिटल कैमरा बट उसके पहले आई यूज टू यूज डैड कैमरा सो डैड हैड अ फिल्म रोल वाला कैमरा जिसमें वो कोडेक के 36 फोटो आते थे कभी कभी अगर 37 या 38 आ गए तो इतनी हाँ। खुशी मिलती थी कि लाइक इट्स अ बोनस राइट एंड देन यू शूट एन इमेज यू कांट सी द रिजल्ट ऑफ इट राइट देयर बिकॉज यू हैव टू वेट फॉर द 36 और द 38 एट शॉर्ट्स टू गेट डन देन टेक द रोल आउट वेरी केयरफुल यू वाइंड इट ऑल टेक इट टू द कलर लैब लेट देम डिवेलप इट प्रिंट इट एंड देन गिव यू कॉपीज टू रियलाइज के यू मेस्ट अप ऑल <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Because that's हाँ, how it worked. हाँ. Uh, so पापा के पास एक रोल वाला कैमरा था Pentax K1000. थाउजेंड माई डैड वॉज हेवीली इन टू हेवीली इन्वेस्टेड इन टू फोटोग्राफी इवन इन हिज चाइल्डहुड आई वॉज लुकिंग एट सम ऑफ हिज एल्बम्स एंड पिक्चर दैट ही शॉर्ट अभी तो एक पिक्चर में दो विवेक या दो मिहिर चाहिए तो आई फोन कैन डू इट इन अ मैटर ऑफ सेकेंड एंड एनी बडी कैन डू इट दिस दिस नो बिग ट्रिक अबाउट इट But my dad did some of those multiple exposure photography in his childhood. Uh-huh. Ke ek camera rakke, double exposure leke, then you overlap it and then take it to the color lab, get it printed. Dad has pictures of him and his brother, uh-huh. like two of them standing <coughs> here on the frame, and again two of them standing here on the same frame on uh-huh. the terrace of the of the building they lived on. Uh-huh. So he used to do all that, and I Crazy. think some of that has has kind of gotten Seeped translated it. to to me, uh-huh. transferred to me rather. Uh-huh. तो पापा के पास वो पेंटेक्स था उसके बाद पापा बॉट अ कोडेक डी एक्स सिक्स फोर नाइन जीरो विच वॉज आर फैमिलीज फर्स्ट डिजिटल कैमरा एंड देन आई गॉट माई ओन विच वॉज डैट गिफ्ट एंड देन आई कुड अफोर्ड माई ओन एंड देन आई अपग्रेडेड अपग्रेडेड एंड सफ लाइक दैट सो बट या माई ओन कैमरा इफ यू गो टू सी निकॉन कुल पिक्स पी ए टी सो देन वुड इट बी फेयर टू से कि जब तक आपको पहला कैमरा मिला खुद का तब तक आप ये सब समझ गए थे टेक्निकलिटीज समझ गए थे आईसो क्या होता है पर्चर नहीं शटर स्पीड नॉट फेयर टू से दैट नो नॉट फेयर नॉट फेयर टू से या द रीजन आई आस्क दैट क्वेश्चन बिकॉज आई माय प्राइमरी क्वेश्चन वाज कि ये नेट जियो देखना डिस्कवरी देखना और वहाँ पे बिकॉज एक्सपर्ट्स आर कैप्चरिंग इट और और आपको ये लगता है कि अब मैं ये मैं भी करूँगा नाउ यू हैव अ कैमरा इन योर हैंड एंड यू ट्राई एंड डू दैट विथ ह्यूम इवन ह्यूमन सही से नहीं आ रहे हैं जानवर कहाँ से आएंगे उनको तो आप कमांड भी नहीं कर सकते राइट तो द क्वेश्चन वॉज के वहाँ फ्रॉम लर्निंग दैट ये शॉट लेना है से ये टेक्निकल या क्राफ्ट इम्प्रूव करने तक का कितना लंबा सफर था या कैसे किया वो माई क्वेश्चन वो वो जर्नी एक सेल्फ एजुकेशन वाला जर्नी था एंड ऑफकोर्स इंटरनेट हेल्प बिग वे लॉर्ड ऑफ यूट्यूब ट्यूटोरियल्स एंड लॉर्ड ऑफ एक्सपर्ट्स हु आर इन टू providing education online hmm. you could join those channels and look at those uh, conversations to see what are the basic principles of photography hmm. if you want to go slightly super specialized into wildlife photography then hmm. what is the kind of equipment you need what are the kind of settings you could play around with hmm. if an element an element or an animal surprises you then how do you react in the moment what stuff you may need to change on the go hmm. because ऐसा कोई रूल नहीं है कि अगर टाइगर कैप्चर करना है तो ये आए सो ये अपचर ये फोकल लेंथ पे जाओगे तो बेस्ट आएगा ही ऐसा कोई रूल नहीं है कभी टाइगर लेफ्ट से आ रहा है कभी राइट से आ रहा है कभी झाड़ों के बीच में बैठा है कहीं खुले रोड पे चल रहा है कहीं सनलाइट है कहीं क्लाउडी है तो नो रूल वर्क एवरीवेयर यू हैव टू अडेप्ट सो आई थिंक ऑल ऑफ दैट एजुकेशन एंड सेल्फ डिस्कवरी हैपन इन द इन अ पीरियड ऑफ फोर टू फाइव ईयर्स वेन आई न्यू दैट आई हैड अ टूल विच वॉज द कैमरा आई नीडेड टू अप माई ओन स्किल सेट to be able to make the most out of that tool i had mm. and when i had my first digital camera which was the the gift that dad gave me mm. i knew that the camera had a lot more to offer mm. than what my skill sets were at mm. so i knew ke i had a catch up game to play mm. camera could do tons of it but mm. mujhe nahi samajh aana chahiye na ki इसको मैं कैसे इसमें से बेस्ट रिजल्ट निकालू एंड आई टोल्ड माई सेल्फ कि मैं ये कैमरा अपग्रेड करूंगा ओनली एट अ टाइम वेन आई थिंक के मेरा स्किल सेट इज बेटर देन व्हाट दिस कैमरा कैन डिलीवर जब मुझे लगेगा कि ये कैमरा का सारा फीचर्स और पॉसिबिलिटीज मैंने एक्सप्लोर कर लिया एंड आई एम आई एम एट अ डिसेंट लेवल कि अभी ये कैमरा मेरे एक्सपेक्टेशन पे नहीं डिलीवर कर पा रहा है ओनली देन आई चेंज द नेक्स्ट कैमरा क्योंकि यू कैन बाय अ ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड रुपी कैमरा टूडे और बाय अ ट्वेंटी लैख रुपी कैमरा इट्स इट्स अ टूल इफ यू डोंट नो इट देन यू कैंट एक्सपेक्ट के जस्ट बिकॉज मैंने ट्वेंटी लैख का कैमरा ले लिया कल से अच्छी फोटो आने लगेगी ऐसा नहीं हो तो मैंने वो एक कैमरा को बहुत एक्सप्लोर किया बहुत 
टेरिबल फोटोज भी खींची होगी uh and then it kind of went into the self discovery mode i learned it experimented a lot i would i would carry it, uh, the camera almost everywhere i would go hmm hmm uh aur ghar pe bhi main usko aisa ekdam box mein pack karke kabhi cupboard mein usko rakha hi nahi maine ha mere study table pe aise baju mein rakhta hu ha achanak agar bahar koi parrot dikh gaya to i shouldn't have to think ke are yaar camera kaun nikalega kaun battery charge karega pata nahi card hoga ki nahi hoga uske andar that tool should be right here hmm so i can pick up quickly and before the guy flies out hmm. i can take a few shots to see am i getting this right hmm 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 kyunki kabhi kabhi hum log stuff that we love we keep it so carefully somewhere hmm. that then we get either too lazy to even take it out hmm hmm or the opportunity to use it goes away and then we parody ud gaya to kya koi nikalega fir agle do mahine nikal jata hai hmm hmm and then you take it out only once in a while when you go out on a vacation hmm. and then you can't expect ke main saal mein char din camera use karunga aur main ekdam pro photographer ban jaunga aisa to hmm hmm so ek ek self discovery journey tha a lot of online education and forums and following some of the photographers who mm-hmm. who i like and admire and would I you mind naming a few photographers whom you admire and whom you follow <laughs> yeah the <coughs> there's a person called jayant sharma Hmm. I absolutely love his work. Huh. He's a Bangalore based photographer. He runs an academy called Toe Hold Academy. Huh. So they are they are into two things. They are into wildlife tourist tourism side as well. So if you are an enthusiast in the photography world, Jayant could be hosting a wildlife tour hmm. where he will say I am going to Ranthambore for six safaris on these days. Come along with me. Hmm. So you can sign up to become a tourist on his on his trip. and jayant will be there in in the jeep with you mm. and he'll tell you the tricks of how stuff is done in the wild mm. in the jeep while you are in front of a tiger mm-hmm. and then each evening he will review all of the images that are shot by all of the participants mm. and he'll give you a few tips and tricks to for you to upgrade your game mm-hmm. and say ke meer tune ye shayad thoda dusra setting karna chahiye tha isme tune composition kuch dusra try karna chahiye tha yeah whatever his perspective may be mm. So that's one part of his business and work. The mm. other part of his business and work is that he does online education. So there are courses on his website, mm. and whatever interests you, you can like pay a certain subscription, mm. get access to the course, and learn it. And mm. of course, he's very active on Instagram and YouTube, so you can you can follow that too. Mm-hmm. So he's he's one person I I follow. Mm. Shaz Jung is also a person mm-hmm. I, I admire nahi. a lot. Ha, kabi nahi. Mm-hmm. But Shaz Jung is like. Uh, there's a big difference between the work of Jayant and, and the work Shaz of Shaz. Like Shaz is <coughs> is a is more like a painter. Hmm. You will definitely know that usne agar koi leopard capture kiya hai ya tiger capture kiya hai, koi bhi usne agar ek sparrow ko bhi capture kar liya. Hmm. तो उसका एडिटेड इमेज देख के आपको पता चलेगा कि ये एनवायरनमेंट वो टाइम पे ऐसा नहीं होगा ऐसा हो ही नहीं सकता है जहां पे उसने ये कैप्चर किया है बट वो कुछ ही ट्रांसपोर्ट यू इनटू सम अदर वर्ल्ड विद हिज एडिट्स एंड द वे ही विजुअलाइज स्टफ जयंत इज नॉट लाइक दैट जयंत इज सुपर रियलिस्टिक मतलब hmm. जयंत के पिक्चर में अगर वो ग्रीन पत्ता पीछे अगर रनथम्बोर में वो ग्रीन है तो उसके पिक्चर में वैसे ही ग्रीन दिखे बट देर देर इज ब्यूटी इन इन बोथ साइड ऑफ द वर्ल्ड Hmm. So yeah these these two gentlemen I truly admire which school of thought are you more inclined towards realism or this creating a magical world of your own where you do a little bit of color correction se bhi zyada kuch kuch aur elements dramatization hmm. which school of thought do you subscribe to I am you more on the realism side of things hmm. but once in a while I wouldn't mind exploring the dramatization slash creative side of it hmm i also have some pictures that are slightly exaggerated hmm hmm but i exaggerate only till a point where it's still believable hmm it shouldn't look like ye ye thoda overdo ho gaya hmm the hmm. moment i feel ke saturation mein bada raha hu fader pe jab main edit karta hu to if i know ke saturation ko main plus 20 le ja sakta hu but 21 karne se aisa lag raha hai ki nahi abhi ye thoda fake lag raha hai तो मैं उसको 20 पे ले आता हूँ वापस 21 हाँ. नहीं रखूंगा उसको राइट बट कोई कोई बार एक्सपेरिमेंट करना अच्छा है बट आई एम आई यूजुअली कीप माय वर्क इन द रियलिस्टिक साइड ऑफ थिंग्स अबाउट शाह जंग ना ये इज माय थॉट कि होता ये है ना कि एक तो वैसे ही मेरे सेंसेस डिप्राइव्ड हैं व्हेन आई एम लुकिंग एट थिंग्स थ्रू अ स्क्रीन राइट नंबर वन आई कैनॉट स्मेल द जंगल 
मुझे पता नहीं कि वहाँ क्या महक है राइट वेन एम लुकिंग एट दैट फोटो शाहजन ऑल्सो डज वो क्या करते हैं वो ऑडियो uh, डालते हैं हाँ. वो चिड़िया के उसका कहीं से वो वो ऑडियो भी कहीं और से रिकॉर्डेड है नो द रीज थिंग इज मेहर क्योंकि हम दोनों इस फील्ड में इंटरेस्टेड हैं एंड वी ऑल्सो ट्राई एंड अंडरस्टैंड कि ये किया किस कैसे होगा दैट्स वाई वी नोटिस दैट इमेजिन समन हु इज नॉट फ्रॉम दिस वर्ल्ड वो डजन नो कैमरा ये वो बैकग्राउंड वॉइस एड किया उनके लिए वही है दैट इज वॉट इट इज फॉर देम दे सो साया विथ एंड दे आर हियरिंग दैट चिड़िया की आवाज द ओनली थिंग दैट दे कॉन्ट गेट देर इज द सेंस ऑफ स्मेल करेक्ट एंड बींग इन द जंगल वो टच बाकी उनको वो साउंड से आप कैप्चर कर रहे हैं और वो वो क्रिएट करके एंड अला एंड इवन आई एम यू नो कि जो रियल है वैसा दिखाओ ना ये तो कुछ अलग ये तो है ही नहीं वो जो है हाँ. शायद शायद साया के अलावा बाकी सब कुछ कंस्ट्रक्टेड है एग्जैक्टली exactly. उस इमेज में और right? साया भी कभी कभी थोड़ा सा एग्जैजरेटेड है हाँ. ऐसा लगता है अच्छा uh, अच्छा के, मैंने अभी तक साया को नहीं देखा है तो आई कैन कॉमेंट ऑन दैट पीस बट समाइम्स द कलर्स ऑफ द आई और द द लेवल ऑफ इंटेंसिटी ऑफ द विस्कर्स एंड सम ऑफ दोज लाइन ऑन देर नोज एंड स्टफ I I think it it feels slightly exaggerated, but it's an art. Huh. It's like आपको एक पेंट ब्रश और कैनवस दे दिया मुझे एक पेंट ब्रश और कैनवस दे दिया हमारे सामने सीन चाहे सेम ही हो हम दोनों का बहुत अवर्स में पेंट आर ओन वर्जन ऑफ इट येस सो यू मे हैव अ डिफरेंट टेक ऑन द सनराइज दैट मे बी हैपनिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ अस आई मे हैव अ डिफरेंट टेक बट आई मीन इट्स ऑल लेजिट इन द इन द आर्ट वर्ल्ड बट मुझे लगता है कि कोई कोई बार वेन पीपल लुक एट शाज शाह जंग्स पिक्चर्स एंड गो टू कबीनी और बांधोगढ़ वेर एवर दे कम बैक वेरी डिसअपॉइंटेड बिकॉज देव गॉन देर थिंकिंग आई विल गेट टू सी द काइंड ऑफ जंगल दैट शाह हैज शोन मी ऑन हिज इंस्टाग्राम बट द जंगल इज नथिंग लाइक इट हिज जंगल इज हिज वर्जन ऑफ द जंगल दैट यू सी ऑन द इंस्टाग्राम दैट्स नॉट रियली हाउ द जंगल इज एंड एंड दैट हैपन्स बट बट इट्स इट्स ओके आई थिंक समटाइम्स इट हैज ऑल्सो हैपन टू मी वेन आई हैव शॉर्ट ऑफ यू फ्लेमिंगो पिक्चर्स and me and a few of my friends went to the same spot to watch flamingos they were all non photographers and hence they were just happy looking at at flamingos through the binoculars and taking a few pictures on the mobile i would lie down on the floor and crawl and do all of the stuff that i may need to to take mm. a few pictures mm. when i post those pictures they ask me are hum log yahi jagah saath mein gaye the usme photo ke hum log ne aisa kuch dekha hi nahi क्योंकि मैंने थोड़ा सा एग्जैजरेट किया होगा <coughs> मैं फ्लोर पे सो के पिक्चर्स ले रहा था तो मुझे जो रिफ्लेक्शन मिले होंगे वो उनको खड़े खड़े में नहीं मिले नहीं होंगे। मिले होंगे उनके पास शायद वो पर्सपेक्टिव नहीं था जो मेरे पास था hmm. या उनका पर्सपेक्टिव कुछ और था hmm. जो मेरे पास नहीं था सो दे दे सी अर डिफरेंस इन इट समाइम दे लाइक अरे उस दिन दिखाना चाहिए था ना जब उधर थे हम लोग हमको ऐसा क्यों नहीं दिखाया बट इट डजेंट हैपन राइट देर यूर टू जस्ट कैप्चर द रॉ कम बैक होम spend yeah. some back breaking hours to produce what what you may want to yeah, yeah. there's a very famous line uh, says ke shauk e didar agar hai to nazar paida kar they say mm-hmm. agar aapko dekhne ka shauk hai na to you develop a perspective correct and then you will be very able to see things so the same thing happens mm-hmm. ke even with me of course i am not a good photographer lekin when you compare me with the commoners <laughs> 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 and by by virtue of rubbing shoulders with you <laughs> i know things from here and then i do things and they say vivek how how are you doing this yeah i like <clears throat> there is a guy called mihir <laughs> <laughs> he is the one in my brain who is doing this i don't know do this <laughs> but uh, jokes about yeah after having conversations with you and other friends who are into this now i go and read up mm ke kya hai yaar क्या शटर स्पीड क्या होता है ऐसा क्या होता है एंड देन ऑफ कोर्स आई मे नॉट हैव द एक्सपर्टीज बिकॉज इट इज अ क्राफ्ट यू विल हैव टू स्पेंड टाइम विद द टूल राइट टू बिकम अडेप्टेड मैं थियोरिटिकली जान भी लूँ कि आई एस ओ कम ज्यादा करने से ये होता है बट इन दैट मोमेंट इन दैट हाफ अ सेकेंड मिली सेकेंड आपको तय करना है क्या क्या रखना है बिकॉज द बीस्ट विल गो अवे और द थिंग विल चेंज राइट सो दैट ओनली समन हु प्रैक्टिस इज दैट क्राफ्ट विल बी एबल टू डू Right. knowledge is not enough yeah that brings me to the question ke how much money you said youtube of course a lot of today a lot of stuff is available free but free ke sath dikkat bhi ye hai ki it is all scattered right it's always a trade off of time and money true agar mujhe ek expert se sab kuch condense 3 ghante mein chahiye to then i'll have to pay for that this thing ya fir i spend the next 30 days scavenging the internet youtube and other mm. this thing ke kya 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 kare so did you spend on any of the courses yes. or Ah, so, so there were a couple of courses that I did, which were the structured education program, mm. which will start off on a very basic level and then go deep 
into the advanced concepts and stuff mm. because you asked like expenses wise i think the very basics ones are not overly expensive mm. if you have a budget of say uh, 15 20000 mm. to do good online education just to understand the basics and slightly advanced concept i think all of that that can be figured out in in that pool of money mm. and after that the <coughs> uh investment is of course your own tool that that you want to buy what camera what lens and things like those and in the wildlife photography side of things what's most expensive is to practice mm. like to practice you have to go somewhere mm. uh now it depends on <coughs> what species are you after mm. some photographers are only after tigers to so tiger to city mein to dikhega nahi अगर मैं बर्ड फोटोग्राफी कर रहा हूँ तो आई कैन गो टू अ नेशनल पार्क हेयर इन देयर और इवन गो अप टू माय बिल्डिंग टेरेस एंड आई आई फाइंड सम बर्ड ऑफ द अदर बट इफ यू आर आफ्टर सम स्पेसिफिक स्पीशीज देन यू हैव टू गो टू दोज पार्क्स टू बी एबल टू फाइंड देम एंड फोटोग्राफ देम एंड देन वॉट फिल्टर्स आउट दैट इज द अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम दैट यू हैव टू स्पेंड देर जरूरी नहीं है कि जस्ट बिकॉज आई एम आफ्टर अ टाइगर मीन्स मैं चार सफारी करूंगा तो मुझे आठ बार वो टाइगर दिखेगा hmm. हो सकता है कि मैं चार सफारी करूंगा और एक भी बार टाइगर क्या उसका पगमाग भी ना दिखे सो मे बी योर फोर डे हॉलीडे इज जस्ट गॉन वेस्ट बिकॉज आई हैवन बीन एबल टू शूट अ सिंगल टाइगर एंड इट इट हैपन्स ऑल द टाइम विद विद पीपल इन इन दिस वर्ल्ड बिकॉज यू डोंट कंट्रोल लाइक यू सेट योर सब्जेक्ट इज नॉट कंट्रोल्ड बाई यू योर एनवायरमेंट दैट द सब्जेक्ट विल पॉप अप सडनली इन इज नॉट कंट्रोल्ड बाई यू where you are at that moment is also not controlled by you to an extent aur aage agar ek safari vehicle hai piche hai side mein do safari vehicle hai to no matter how pro your driver and your guide is hmm. you are stuck hmm. you can't move hmm. then the only thing you can do is make the most of where you are hmm. 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 so lot of variables there the hmm. only thing you control is how quick you are with the tool that you are carrying in your hand hmm. and what what best you can generate out of that so hmm. that is a big investment because mm. if you want to continually make wildlife trips to national parks and stuff like that mm. uh, all of those cost kind of add up to a big number at the end of the day mm-hmm. uh this i am saying this for the audience that uh, you know for those who are watching and listening that photography is a very expensive sort of hobby mm. <clears throat> and meher is able to do it because he has a full time job or has always had a full time job parallelly photography बिकॉज क्योंकि अभी तक हमने वी हैवन टच अपन योर डे जॉब डे जॉब ना तो लोगों को कहीं ऐसा ना गुमराह ना हो जाए कि भाई अब मैं भी फोटोग्राफी करूँगा मुझे भी ये वैगा बॉन्ड लाइफ चाहिए बट एंड दैट इज वाई आई आस्ट के कितना स्पेंड किया है सीखने में और इवन इन कैमराज एंड लेंसेज आई नो यू हैव अ डी ह्यूमिडिफायर एज वेल राइट तो जस्ट अ रफ फिगर इफ यू कैन टेल मीर Uh, 5 lakhs 10 lakhs 15 lakhs on the equipment side of thing ha equipments plus learning so i think my equipment and in photography wo uh, wo ek baba ji ki langoti aisa aisa situation hai ha ke on the outside aisa lagta hai ki camera le lo ha jiske sath ek acha lens hai aur aap photographer ban jaoge ha but it doesn't stop there ha there's a whole chain ha camera and lens is just a starting point of it ha then lens ke upar filter chahiye एनडी फिल्टर जो भी टाइप का फिल्टर अच्छा एनडी फिल्टर हो या कुछ और फिल्टर हो जो भी यू नीड दैट यू नीड अ गुड बैग टू कैरी योर इक्विपमेंट इन यू नीड अ क्लीनिंग किट टू मेक श्योर दैट आफ्टर एवरी सफारी यू आर एबल टू क्लीन योर इक्विपमेंट बिकॉज वो डस्टी एनवायरमेंट होता है एलिमेंट्स ऑफ नेचर होते हैं तो यू यू गॉट टू है क्लीनिंग किट यू नीड अ डिसेंट कंप्यूटर टू बी एबल टू रन सॉफ्टवेयर लाइक लाइट रूम फोटोशॉप and edit your pictures hmm. lightroom photoshop are all subscribed uh, or subscription based applications hmm. which are quite high on subscription hmm. to aisa nahi ki camera mein se photo nikali aur that photo is going to win you some awards you have to do some work on it once you come back home hmm. edit color correct post process all of that hmm. so all of that happens on softwares like photoshop lightroom and and a whole others uh, you need hard disks to store your data hmm. sometimes when i go on a trip i may and come back with 3 4 5 000 pictures in a trip hmm. now how do you store all of that data hmm. i have been doing trips for the last 3 3 and a half 4 years maybe to itna tb data hai ke wo khali laptop ke hard disk mein to reh nahi sakta laptop crash ho jayega so you need additional hard disks for it if you want to take your game a notch higher you can have your own cloud 
mm. sitting at home mm. and do something called as a NAS mm. network attached attached storage mm. so instead of storing your images on Google's cloud or on Amazon's cloud or or like Apple's uh, drive mm. you can build your own cloud and access your images from whichever device whichever place all of that mm. you because we live in a city like Bombay to wahan pe humidity bahut zyada hai so you need a dehumidifier so that when your camera's lenses and all the gear is sitting home mm. uh it doesn't catch fungus Hmm. So ये सब पूरा एक चेन है hmm. वो वो खत्म होना मुश्किल खत्म नहीं होता आई एम श्योर यू विल हैव टेन टेन थिंग्स टू बाय नाउ और भी खरीदना है करेक्ट एंड देन देयर आर अपग्रेड्स टू एवरीथिंग के ऐसा नहीं कि आज एक कैमरा ले लिया अभी जिंदगी भर कैमरा देने की जरूरत ही नहीं है hmm. एक बार आपको लगेगा कि अभी आपकी स्किल सेट इज एट अ सर्टेन लेवल एंड यू कैन द कैमरा इज नॉट एबल टू कोप अप विद दैट और यू नीड मोर आउट ऑफ द कैमरा एंड कैमरा हैज सर्टेन लिमिटेशंस यू मे वांट टू अप द गेम एंड बाय बेटर कैमरा बाय बेटर लेंस Also have multiple lenses in one go. So hmm. I I had an interesting question that a cousin of mine asked me. Hmm. My cousin is a dentist. Hmm. So I was out on a trip with uh, a bunch of cousins, and she was one of the one of the hmm. cousins who I was out with. So she said, "Two hmm. so camera, four lenses. Why do you need a camera? A camera is a camera, right? So I said, if you have to do a root canal operation, then." So can I just give you two tools? Will you be able to finish all hmm. everything that you need to do? Hmm. I said no. Hmm. There is each tool hmm. does a specific job. Hmm. I said, okay. I said if you want to fill a cavity, hmm. will those same two tools work, or you need something else? Hmm. If you need to do a gum implant, hmm. will the same two tools do, or you need something else? Hmm. So then she figured out, okay, it's not like you can just buy one lens and your life is sorted. Portrait view stage shoot karo, animal view stage shoot karo, landscape view stage shoot karo. Isa nahi hoga. Hmm. So you need multiple lenses. Hmm. Now, if you go in the jungle and you have, say, three lenses, for example, hmm. one a super telephoto, one a mid-range, and one a wide, hmm. you can't afford to change lenses while you are on a safari. Which means you need three bodies as well. So hmm. three cameras should be. Uske over three no lenses attached should be. Hmm. Because jungle me agar tiger aara hai, so I can't say, hey, just hold on, I'm changing a lens, <laughs> and then I'll go with my lens that is the most appropriate for that moment, right? Huh. एक तो वो मोमेंट मिस हो जाएगा और ऊपर जंगल में लेंसेज चेंज करना इज हाईली नॉट रिकमेंडेड फॉर योर कैमरा बिकॉज वो सेंसर्स पे डस्ट चला जाएगा एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट सो अगर दो कैम मिनिमली लेट्स से लेट्स नॉट इवन टॉक अबाउट टू हाई एंड लाइक प्रोफेशनल फोटोग्राफर लाइक जयंत एंड शाहज ऑफ द वर्ल्ड विल कैरी मिनिमम थ्री बॉडी थ्री लेंसेज एंड अ बंच ऑफ अदर स्टफ आई कैरी वन बॉडी टू लेंसेज uh and and the basics around it my camera just the camera and the lens is about a 5 lakh investment mm. and everything else put together i think will be a couple of lakhs more mm. and i am not even at the pro level of equipment like mm. i can crank up my game two levels higher mm. if i want to mm. and if i have the budget to do so mm-hmm. uh, currently my camera does does the job for me because again like i said i need to get to a place where i feel ke camera is not delivering I need more out of it, and I can get more out of it. उस दिन मैं कैमरा चेंज करके और बेटर ले सकता हूँ. But अभी के लिए this is this is good for me. So, mm-hmm. but at the same time, I also want to tell the viewers or the listeners that mm-hmm. ज़रूरी नहीं है कि तू start off into the world of wildlife or any photography. You need a minimum investment of five lakhs. बिल्कुल ज़रूरी नहीं है ऐसा. In the world of photography, the saying is the best camera is the one that you can afford. Mm-hmm. Wow, wow, That's wow, the best wow. camera. The best camera is the one that you can afford. afford. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you can afford a fifteen lakh rupee camera, please go buy one. No problem. Huh. But if you can't afford that, huh. don't cry about it, huh. and don't do anything till you can afford it. Huh. For now, if you can afford a thirty thousand rupee camera, go buy it and start. Huh, huh, huh. Something will happen out of it. Huh. Sometime you'll get some good shot. Some learning will happen, and then you can always upgrade, upgrade, upgrade to wherever else you may want to go. Mm-hmm. So don't be stuck about. What is the best camera? There is no best camera. The best camera is the one that is your pocket friendly. That's all. Mm-hmm. So start somewhere. Mm. That brings me to the to the question: Is my mobile a good camera for a beginning? If I can't afford a DSLR, see, I see even a <coughs> second hand DSLR camera will cost around twenty five thirty k. Yeah. On OLX or quicker on some platform, if I buy, and if I do not have the budget, I am a student. <coughs> right. You know, uh, second year, third year, me, I am studying, studying. तो क्या मेरे मोबाइल से मैं वो बिकॉज मोबाइल में तो क्लिक किया और हो गया हाउ डू आई लर्न अबाउट दिस सेटिंग्स आई सो ये वो इफ यू हैव अ डिसेंट मोबाइल यू आर गुड टू गो ऑलरेडी एंड इफ यू लुक एट 
photographers like Shaz, mm. they do paid partnerships with Samsungs of the world. Mm. Even after having 20, 25, 30 lakh rupees invested in their cameras that they may have on the side, mm. they go on special assignments into jungle sponsored by Samsung mm. to shoot just on their phone. Mm. Mm. Because in the phone, mein so many megapixels, this much zoom, pro mode, low light mode, night mode, pata nahi kitne sare mode mm-hmm. and you can do all that. So, mm-hmm. uh, if, if phone is where you want to start, you can start. Mm. Sometimes... It may not work in some situations. For example, if somebody goes to Jawai mm. to look at some leopards, mm. Jawai's landscape and the leopard behavior is such that the leopard is very far away usually. Mm. When I say very far away, it means it's very far away from 200-300 meters. So then the phone ka zoom will not give you a close-up, which is a trade-off. Mm. So then you will have some limitations and say, okay, phone can do this or not do this. You should know those boundaries. Hmm. And when you know that the leopard is half a kilometer away, just leave your phone and enjoy the moment hmm. with a binocular. Forget hmm. about photography then. Hmm. But that can also happen in a in a long lens. Like hmm. sometimes I have a 500mm and I feel that that bird should be a little close. 500mm, how much more close should be a little close? And the, I'm at a... Point where I feel that if I two steps ahead, then maybe the bird will fly. Fly, yeah. So I can't move forward, and the bird's not going to come towards me, and my lens has reached its, its max capacity. reach, huh. and I'm still not getting the frame I want. Then I leave my camera, pick up my binocular, and just enjoy the bird. Right. So it it's fine. But mo- to answer your question, mobile, you for sure can start off on it. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, today's के mobile are pretty kick ass. Yeah, pretty good enough. <clears throat> we'll come back to the photography and wildlife uh, because I don't want to spend uh, I don't want the listeners to think that they are doing this because what you do other than photography is also so interesting and so different to someone like me who comes from a small town you know I come from Valsar and I never heard what happens in technical production mm. the first time I remember what you do and you said technical and I said what happens right. right and How, if someone from a small town wants to get into this, kya, kya, kaise aap yahan pahunche, if you could shed some light. First of all, what is technical production? What is it that you do? So, and, uh, haan, yeah. good, good question and something that is very close to me. Huh. Because uh, career is, then money is, then photography is, then a lot of things. If you don't have a career, then money is, then nothing else is. So, that's the, the core of what I do. Huh. And... I come from Valsad, which is a super small town in, in Gujarat. Very sleepy, very laid back. Uh-huh. Generally, it's a town where you can have the best of your retired life. <laughs> it's, it's a place where you want to retire and go to. It has a nice beach, chilled out vibe. Dunia var ke temples hai. Uh-huh. And you can, you can have a great retired life. Yeah. So I did my schooling there. And I came to Mumbai to pursue my graduation. Uh-huh. While I was in my graduation, I, I thought... I wanted to do MBA. Hmm. And I realized very quickly that I don't have to study Very quickly. Uh, once I appeared for CAT, the common entrance test, huh. to realize that my performance was terrible. Huh. And I realized that I don't have to get admission in a good college. Mein milne wale. Huh. So then I figured out that let's leave this system of study. Let's find something where you don't need to study a whole lot. Hmm. But you can get into a professional world real quick hmm. and get the on-ground experience that will build your career for the rest of your life. Hmm. So I used to live in a hostel. And uh, I had a roommate in my third year hmm. who was doing a part-time job in a model coordination agency. Hmm. So their job was to brands will approach them and say, here's the campaign we are working on. We need two female models, two male models, whatever X, Y, Z. Here's hmm. our requirement. You cast those models and give us those models and we'll do photo shoots or TV commercials or whatever. Hmm. So his company was organizing some sort of a fashion show on one of the evenings. Hmm. And I was just chilling in my room, in the hostel room, getting bored on a Saturday. And he was all getting dressy and wearing jacket and stuff. I said, Where are you going? So he said, I have a company like fashion show organized, so I'm going there. You will go. So somebody who was in their third year of college, uh, why will you say no to going to a fashion show? The, I had no reason. So I said, done. Of course, hmm. I'll come. Maybe I'll be ready and we went to this uh, fashion show. Hmm. 
in the fashion show i saw that there were a lot of people who were wearing the crew badges mm. had the walkie talkie or the radios in their hand wearing one waist pouch and they were the people running the venue they were the people calling the shots mm. okay do this do that this has to happen where is this guy where is that guy why is this not on schedule mm. so i i figured out that these are the people definitely arranging this or or they are the ones in control here mm mm-hmm. तो मैं घर पे आया हॉस्टल में मैंने उसको पूछा कि हु आर दीज पीपल लाइक वे डू दे कम फ्रॉम व्हाट वर दे डूइंग एंड देन ही एक्सप्लेन मी द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ इवेंट मैनेजमेंट दैट वाज माय फर्स्ट इंटरेक्शन टू इवन नोइंग के अ वर्ल्ड लाइक दिस एग्जिस्ट्स आउटसाइड के इवेंट मैनेजमेंट करके एक प्रोफेशनल इंडस्ट्री है वेयर कंपनीज ऑन अ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट बेसिस विल ऑर्गेनाइज स्टफ फॉर समबडी इट वेरी फैसिनेटेड मी सो आई डग डीपर to figure out ke iske colleges hote hain you can do courses and then you can get placed in one of the event management companies and and you can step into that professional world mm. and fortunately that course didn't have any entrance test mm. all you had to do is just pay the fees and join the college mm-hmm. so i didn't want to study and hence that was a very happy surprise to me ke are isme koi entrance test hi nahi hai matlab admission milna to guarantee hai kyunki sirf fee deni hai so i paid the fees joined the course and joined the event management world ha uh event management happened for about i think 14ish years mm. so you understand event management it's the it's the whole thing mm. technical production is a part of event management mm. so let's say there's an award show happening some mm. bollywood film award show happening mm. somebody must be organizing the whole thing meaning building the stage bringing the light sound video setting up the chairs setting up security making sure the food is sort, sorted out valet parking is taken care of washrooms are clean the works hmm. technical production looks after just the technical side of things hmm. we don't care about saw chair lagne hai to 80 lage hai ya 120 lag gaye usse technical producer ko kuch fark nahi padta hai hmm. ya valet mein agar kisi ki gaadi atak gayi to technical producer producer ko phone nahi aayega ke meri gaadi atak gayi wo event manager ko phone jayega ke meri gaadi atak gayi bhai valet ka kya scene hai technical producer ka job hai to make sure that from a technical standpoint which includes the stage design hmm. the lighting of it hmm. how do the artist sound hmm. um how does how do they look on camera how is all of these uh content packaged for broadcast or streaming later mm. all of those things are the technical aspects of event management mm. and i was very fascinated about all of that mm. while i did everything mm. these things kind of had my heart mm. and i i knew that at some point of time i want to go deep into just this and not worry about the food and the alcohol and the valets mm-hmm. and then an opportunity came my way mm. for me to be able to switch from event management to technical production mm. i grabbed it with both my hands fortunately it all worked out and mm. for the last 4 4 and a half years mm. i've been hyper focused on just technical production mm mm-hmm. कुछ नुकसान है हाइपर फोकस करने के बिकॉज इफ आई क्लियरली सी इन टर्म्स ऑफ नंबर्स इवेंट्स आर एवरीथिंग राइट हर जगह हर एक चीज इवेंट है शादी भी इवेंट है अवार्ड शो भी इवेंट है बर्थडे भी इवेंट है राइट अब उसमें सुपर स्पेशलाइज करना हाउ डू आई हाउ डू आई रिलेटेड टू अस डिफरेंट प्रोफेशन लाइक अगर आप डॉक्टर हैं जनरल फिजिशियन है आपके पास नंबर ऑफ पीपल विल बी मोर लेकिन इफ इफ यू आर एन ऑर्थोडोंटिस्ट तो आपके पास बहुत कम लोग आने वाले हैं राइट सिमिलरली आर देर एनी यू नो negative sides of pers- of super specializing into technical production i would think so because the reason i say is <coughs> yeah, yeah. i'll tell you the reason i say is because someone who is doing event na wo bhi thoda bahut technical to ha basics to ha na thoda bahut basics to wo manage to kar hi lenge for sure so what is the requirement for a technical producer jo super specialized hai who has you know pichle 5 saal yahi kiya hai unhone aur kuch nahi kiya aur nahi as you say uski zarurat kya hai super specialization comes in very important when you are doing an extremely complex production hmm ke jisme technical cheeze bahut advanced level pe chal rahi hai hmm tab ek dedicated technical producer ki zarurat hoti hai kyunki wo jo event manager hota hai wo ek certain level of complexity ko मेरे बिना ही डील कर लेगा अगर कोई शो है जो बहुत ज्यादा ओवरली कॉम्प्लिकेटेड नहीं है तो मुझे उधर से फोन भी नहीं आएगा कि मीर वी नीड योर हेल्प 
लाइक यू सेड अगर एम बी बी एस और ऑर्थोडोंटिस्ट वाला कॉन्वर्सेशन है राइट कि सुपर स्पेशलाइजेशन की जरूरत नहीं है तो मुझे फोन ही नहीं आएगा पर जब सुपर स्पेशलाइजेशन की जरूरत होगी तो मेरे बिना वो काम कोई नहीं कर सकता तो तब आप यू कैन यू यू आर द मोनोपोलाइज सर्विस प्रोवाइडर और यू कैन से दैट देर आर नॉट मेनी पीपल लाइक एंड हेंस you have only these 4 5 6 10 people to go to hmm. you pick and and choose and give one of us the job and then we'll we'll sort that out for you hmm. and in the world today technical producers are getting more important in productions because generally the productions are getting more and more complicated hmm. and a lot of times audiences may not see it hmm. like when you go to a coldplay concert hmm. you will just go there have a few drinks with your friends hmm. dance to your favorite song mm. enjoy the show and come back home mm. you will not realize the complexity of what would have gone behind the scene to make it all happen mm. but when we see a show like that mm. because we come from that profession is why we have the eye and and mm. the attention to stuff like that mm. we can tell you ke ye show mein agar koi technical producer ne do cheeze gadbad ki hogi to we can tell you ke somebody yeah, has messed up there mm. Mm. so it's shows are getting more and more tech heavy and hence tech producers are going to be hmm. uh hmm a thing that that people will need hmm. or hmm. A, or a service that people will need bich mein bassi ne ek show kiya tha delhi mein ya gurgaon mein it was a 10000 seater show you know mm-hmm. the comedian bassi yeah, yeah. uh to uh, a lot of uh, people complain ke audio theek se nahi hai like center stage hmm. of course 10000 seater you imagine or audio theek nahi tha would you say that would fall under the technical producers purview ya event management ka problem technical if technical. the like if there was a technical producer on the show huh. then for sure it is the technical producers problem mm mm-hmm. and that's the thing about event managers or technical producers mm-hmm. they will get noticed only when something goes wrong goes wrong right. the beauty of our job is if you did your job perfectly well mm-hmm. you should be invisible uh. nobody should even know that meher was here or uh. meher was not here doesn't uh. matter Uh, uh. because everything will just happen like magic mm mm-hmm. and it holds true for even event managers mm-hmm. if event managers have planned everything to the last detail and executed it mm. you wouldn't even know mm-hmm. because that's how it's supposed to be mm-hmm. when you go to a wedding you will expect that the moment you step out of your car a valet will come wish you good morning good afternoon good evening take your car keys you know give you a tag mm. tell you how to go into the into the venue you get your welcome drink somebody will ask you for a photograph and the whole the whole jazz will happen just the way it is supposed to happen mm. but if somebody has not thought about providing the valet service mm. then you will go to the venue realize are park kahan karu yaar kon hai the event manager kisne organize kiya bula usko bhai kidhar park karu mera gaadi Hmm. so you'll need the event manager when hmm. something's not right hmm. Hmm. if it's all right then then hmm. you won't notice them aapke curriculum mein time management or resource management tha kya because from where i see it this involves a lot of uh, things being dot on time and your resources both uh, the tools and humans hmm. doing things on time which is thoda which is a little tricky in 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 our culture we correct take all things a little easy right so 1 t huh. and 3 m's acha is what you have to deal with in Achha. event management t is time ha huh. material ha huh. is the m ha huh. money is one more m ha huh. and just to be gender inclusive you can call it human hours ha huh. or man hours ha huh. ha so man hours ya man power huh. jo bhi aap bol do huh. so these 3 m huh. and 1 t huh. you are literally just playing jigsaw with, with these four things Uh-huh. client will give you x amount of money uh-huh. to deliver something uh-huh. and then you are supposed to figure out distribution of time money resources efforts energy creativity technicality uh-huh. and spread it out into these four buckets uh-huh. to produce a perfectly produced show ha ha ye ye char hi cheeze hai ha jisse aapko khelna hai ha ha agar iska ek sweet balance if you able to strike then mm. it will mm. be a good show Hmm. otherwise if one of it is off somewhere huh. it will show hmm. okay something was wrong somewhere hmm. either something didn't happen on time hmm. or something was um under scoped hmm. 1000 logo ka show tha 800 hi kursiyan lagi thi so material calculation or planning mein thoda gadbad hai hmm. 
अगर कोई चीज टाइम से नहीं हो पाई तो उसका मतलब ये भी हो सकता है कि या तो पैसे नहीं थे इनफ या तो मैन पावर नहीं था इनफ या तो प्लानिंग नहीं थी इनफ तो ये चार बकेट में चीजें यूजुअली यू यू कीप गोइंग राउंड एंड राउंड एंड यू ट्राई टू फाइंड अ स्वीट स्पॉट जस्ट ट्राइंग टू एनविजन सो डज दैट मीन कि ये इवेंट मैनेज इवेंट मैनेजर जो है ही विल बी द फेस ऑफ थिंग्स राइट अ टेक्निकल प्रोड्यूसर विल नेवर बी आस्ट टू गिव अ कॉस्ट ऑफ समथिंग ही माइट बी एबल टू ही माइट बी आस्ट कि आपको रिसोर्सेज कितने लगेंगे बट यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू बजट एन इवेंट राइट मान लीजिए नो या दैट इज वॉट आई वॉन्ट यूजली द वे इट वर्क इन द इवेंट मैनेजमेंट इको सिस्टम इज के इवेंट मैनेजमेंट कंपनीज विल हैव वन इवेंट मैनेजर टेकिंग केयर ऑफ एन इवेंट that's just that's not over complicated thing let's say one event management company is doing one event for one of their clients right now hmm. they will assign one person as an event manager and say dear client this is your event manager from our company hmm. so that event manager becomes the face of that company to the hmm. client hmm. anything that the client needs the event manager is supposed to be reached out to convey the requirements and event manager will figure it out hmm. now event manager may not necessarily know all cost by themselves or be able to build out a whole cost sheet by themselves hmm. they will have to go to three different departments or two different departments and say hey this is what the client wants to do uh this is what the creative team has designed as a set hmm. or a experience and 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 different things hmm. the production team needs to give me the cost because production team is the team that will eventually execute things on ground hmm so production team can tell you that if you need 800 plastic chairs of a certain type mm. for 3 days mm. it will cost you x rupees mm. because it includes not just the chair mm. it includes the chair the transportation and the mm. cost of the labor that will unload it from the truck put it wherever it needs to clean it when the time has to and then put it back into the truck and take it take it to the warehouse mm-hmm. so technical producer or technical production team will be able to submit and work out the costs of all of the technical elements mm. like if i am producing an event and if i need a certain kinds of lights mm. i will be able to put it all down on an excel sheet mm. and tell you i need 50 of these kind of lights 20 of these kind of lights 30 of these kind of lights so many mics of this type so many speakers of that type so many led screens so many cameras these type of technicians are required to set it all up run it all execute it all and it will cost you 100000 dollars or whatever may be the price for it mm. so technical product production team or technical producers will need to know the amounts that somebody will need to shell mm. to make it all happen mm-hmm. and we also close the deal with the suppliers of these services mm. like i can go to a technical rental company who mm. are into providing lights sound video leds cameras on rental uh, purpose and say here's my requirement list uh, this is my budget let's sit down on a table and negotiate mm. the company will quote something i may may or may not have that budget so i'll sit down and reason it out mm. negotiate sometime we may need to find some replacements if the budgets don't allow for it kuch cheez chahiye but wo bahut zyada महंगा है नहीं अफोर्ड कर पाएंगे तो उसका बेस्ट ऑल्टरनेटिव क्या है जो बजट में फिट होगा और एक्सेप्टेबल ऑल्टरनेटिव है तो यू फाइंड दैट दैट स्वीट स्पॉट टू फिगर आउट व्हाट वर्क्स एज अ रिप्लेसमेंट और एन ऑल्टरनेटिव यू चेंज दो थिंग्स एंड ब्रिंग द होल प्रोडक्शन इन टू द बजट दैट यू आर गिवन क्लोज द डील विद द सप्लायर एंड गिव दम शेड्यूल एंड से आई नीड दिस टफ टू कम एट द वेन्यू एट दिस टाइम इट नीड्स टू टेक फोर आवर्स टू अनलोड it needs to take 8 hours to set up i need 2 hours of technical dry run i will need 1 hour of rehearsal with my presenters or artists or whatever then the show will run for 4 hours then you will have 2 hours to dismantle and mm. then we get out of the venue mm. so you schedule all of that out which is the time and the human power that i spoke about mm. but how do you budget for <clears throat> inconsistencies not inconsistencies but uh, uh, misjudgment say for example here for this podcast mm-hmm. we had gotten all the equipments and uh, you know we were under the impression ke i had come 3 din pehle hi aa gaya tha main right. ke bhai 3 ghante mein set kar denge hai na main aur luckily mera dimag chamka <laughs> pehle hi din ke last din ke 3 ghante pehle shuru karne se acha aaj shuru kar lete hain mm. phir 2 din aaram karenge teesre din shoot shuru hoga right so we started setting up on day 1 and we were on day 
मतलब जिस दिन शूट होना था पहला शूट उसके दो तीन घंटे पहले सब कुछ सेटअप प्रॉपर हुआ है बिकॉज देर वॉज लॉर्ड ऑफ मिक्स एंड मैच एज वेल लाइट यू पुट येलो जेलेटिन पेपर के येलो वो देंगे तो कैसा वॉम फील आएगा तो कैसा होगा अंडरस्टूड दैट वी आर एम एच योर ऑफ दिस फील्ड एंड समन हु इज इन दिस इंडस्ट्री वुड ऑलरेडी नो द टाइम ऑफ इट बट स्टिल चीज़ें आगे पीछे होती हैं तो वो बच कैसे बजट होता है चीज़ें आगे पीछे होती है सो वी यूजअली हैव अ सर्टन मार्जिन ऑफ सेफ्टी इन ऑल थिंग्स वेदर इट्स टाइम और कॉस्ट और एनी थिंग सो इवन इफ समबड़ी एस डन अ डील विथ अ सप्लायर फॉर से हंड्रेड रुपीज में यू गिव मी सो मेनी लाइट्स If we have hundred rupees, we may not necessarily spend all hundred in in the first deal that we may have because we will know that once we go on site, we may ask for four lights extra, mm. and it may cost five rupees extra. Mm. So we first we could be slightly cautious and say ninety five may pehle deal karlo, five rupees apne pas bacha ke rakho. Agar on site ja ke kuch saman laga, to wo five rupees spend karke. you can call for that extra stuff hmm 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 same like that on on timing factor as well you will always have a slight margin of safety hmm. to make sure that if something overruns hmm kai truck atak gaya ya kuch bhi ho sakta hai like hmm. there's there's so many dynamics and variables hmm. if something goes wrong it's like a domino hmm. effect right hmm 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 agar trust nahi laga to light nahi lagega to programming nahi hoga to rehearsal hmm. nahi hoga to kuch nahi hoga hmm hmm to agar trust hi late aa gaya hmm तो बाकी के सब लोग भले टाइम पे आ चुके हैं लेकिन कर कुछ नहीं पाएंगे क्योंकि फाउंडेशन ही नहीं बना है तो यू रन विथ सम सेफ्टी मार्जिन मोस्टली यू विल बी एबल टू कवर इट अप विद इन दैट सेफ्टी मार्जिन बट दे विल ऑलवेज बी टाइम्स व्हेन व्हेन यू विल रन इन टू लार्जर प्रॉब्लम एंड यू मे नॉट बी एबल टू कोप विद इट सो देन यू विल हैव टू फाइंड क्रिएटिव सोल्यूशन ऑन हाउ टू गेट इट डन And that yeah. br- that brings me to a fun question for the sadist inside me. कि कोई ऐसा disaster इतना खराब हुआ कैसा लगा यार अब तो career खत्म तो बहुत सारे ऐसे disaster हैं कोई एक दो जो याद आता हो क्या mistake हुई थी and how did you make sure कि अगली बार ना हो ये funny story okay but I'll I'll tell you this we were um, doing an event uh, for So okay let me let me rephrase. Huh. This was in my first company. Huh. Uh, my with, I was with my first employer back then. A very mm. small company. Mm. And 90% of our business came from just one client. Mm. So if that one client had a bad experience and decided to not work with us, we will have to put a lock on our shutter and say mm. goodbye. Mm-hmm. End of story. Mm. So we had very clear mandate from our director mm. that no matter what happens, mm. this client we can't mess up with. Mm. Period. That's mm. the single line brief from mm. the director. Mm. If this client gives us a show, mm. you will go all out mm. because everything is based on them. Mm. So me and a few of my colleagues were in Udaipur mm. doing a high level management conference for that client. So all of the top bosses of the clients about mm. 150 of them mm. globally were present in that conference it was like a destination residential conference mm. where we were doing this conference in one of the palaces of udaipur mm. so there was this whole royal theme and all of that coming to the point mm. we were in the era where there were no led screens and things like that we used to work with projection screens mm. so projection screen kya hota hai ek there's a fabric that you mount on a frame which is white in color and then you put a projector either in front of it or at the back of it mm. and project on it mm. so that your slides and videos and excel sheets and all that can be shown to a large number oh, of yes. people mm. so udaipur uh, back then was a city where not lot of event services were locally available mm. so we had to call our suppliers from delhi mm. to come to udaipur and set it all up for mm. us mm. and usually in event management all the setups happen at night mm. because your show starts early in the morning next day mm. that's how all the hotels are sold mm. so if the hotel has a say cocktail party today from evening 6 to midnight 12 mm. the cocktail party will get over they will dismantle the next day morning event team will go into the venue mm. set up the whole night Mm. do tests and rehearsals early in the morning and mm. whatever 9:30 10 11 whatever maybe the time of the conference next day the conference will start mm-hmm. so our delhi suppliers came in at midnight mm. started to unload and set up and everything 
about 5 o'clock in the morning mm. when the stage was ready and screens had to go up mm. the supplier the the rep- representative from the supplier comes to me and says meer screen lana bhul gaya delhi se <laughs> so <laughs> delhi se <laughs> <laughs> so he forgot to bring the screen material huh? now there is no alternative to it huh? we are in a city of udaipur huh? where morning 5 o'clock nobody is going to answer your call huh? or even if somebody answers the call there are very less chances of somebody having the material Screen. that we needed mm. so me and a colleague of mine mm. uh had already seen that that venue which is a palace mm. had a screen fabric folded and kept in the back wall mm. and a security guard was stationed right next to it on a chair mm. on a shift basis on a 24 hours that mm. guy didn't move from there mm. so we knew ke the only way we had was to get access to that screen mm. cut it into the size that we needed it in mm. mount it and continue with our life but it's the palace screen and mm. it was a gigantic size screen mm. they will never let us cut it into two small pieces because mm. we wanted it and mm. we forgot it mm. and the guard will not move from there so me and uh, and the colleague of mine decided that the only way to do this is to ask for forgiveness later mm. let's just cut it right now mm. because it's about our jobs mm. it's about saving the client that we are serving mm. and no matter what this has to happen right now mm. now how do we get the watchman to get out of his chair and go somewhere so that we can quickly cut it mm-hmm. so we told our delhi supplier who had forgot the screen mm. who to, who effed up <laughs> uh, to <laughs> crash his truck into the gate outside huh. intentionally acha ke go and collide into that gate jor se <laughs> go and collide into the gate so that the watchman will get up and move uh, and in the time that we have available uh, for when the watchman is moving from here and going there to sort out the mess we already know what sizes do we need keep two people with measure tape and cutters on standby we will quickly open up their screen take measurements cut it roll it back and put it exactly how it was mm. so when the guy comes back he wouldn't even know that something happened mm. and that's exactly what we did mm. i was inside the room my colleague went and got the truck crashed at the gate mm. and then m- major panic happened because truck crash ho gaya truck crash ho gaya the wa- guy left we did whatever uh <laughs> not very morally correct activity that we had to do but we did it uh. put up the screens life went on uh. when the shift was changing of the guard mm. that's when we got caught mm. because when the shift changes they have a log uh, or a register where one watchman has to hand over to the next watchman saying i am giving you this screen and the room in a in a certain condition now it's over to you mm. so when that transition was happening around lunch time or whatever 10 o'clock in the morning mm. that's when the watchman figured out that this screen doesn't look like it is not tampered with it looks like somebody has done something to mm-hmm. it and he fidgeted with it to realize that there are two big holes in the massive screen that they had mm. uh um, and then he kind of complained to his superior and whatever and the raja of that palace mm. called me to his office mm. and chamber mm. around lunch time when he figured out that it is these boys who done this nonsense mm. Mm. he fired the shit out of me <laughs> like, i froze there mm. he fired me he he told me things like if people like you who come from you know these respected cities and respected offices and doing events for these clients if you all do such unethical things mm. how do you expect other people to behave in a certain you know ruly mm. and orderly fashion and and i had nothing to uh, not accept we messed up and mm. and it was like do and die for us so i did tell him that sir i accept we we messed up uh, and whatever may be the fine for doing this is you let us know and my company will will reimburse that so i said it in a very genuine manner because that's how you should you should do right mm. he took it in a very offensive manner mm. that i you a normal civilian giving a reimbursement to a royal uh-huh. like he took it in that tone uh-huh. that like who do you think i am uh-huh. sort of a thing uh-huh. and it got further escalated i had to get him to talk to my director and then him and my boss spoke and we somehow kind of settled it 
but uh, the show went okay hmm. the client still doesn't know maybe if somebody is watching the podcast then they'll know <laughs> what i'm talking about <laughs> but they don't know that the screens didn't come from delhi and we cut a local screen and and life happened hmm. but so sometimes when when you mess up hmm. you have to find these creative solutions hmm. to to continue with your life and and let the show happen <laughs> So I have I have way too many more like these, but I think two hours will not be enough to cover the mess of my career. No, one is enough. To, to this cover is, the mess of this my is career enough. Can't for me. <laughs> <laughs> so we've cut a royal screen to save our show. Yes. Mm. Uh, but uh, the amount that was paid was it too much or yeah, to settle? Yeah, it was quite a quite a lot. Uh, quite. A, it was a six-digit figure because the screen that we cut. I mean probably you didn't get the context of it I didn't tell you that. Uh. That screen was as big as a whole theater screen. Uh. And they had like the 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 palace had imported it for when for setting it up at mm. occasions when they want to do movie screenings for the royal family in the hall. Acha. So they usually keep it at the back but when the royal family needs to do some movie or whatever film or documentary or anything like that they'll like mount it and do it properly. So it was a massive screen. Hmm. and what we did to that is one massive screen with two holes in it <laughs> <laughs> but you saved the day at a huge cost <laughs> yeah did. but we followed the the brief that was given to us by the K- director K- client no matter jante. what go out <coughs> of your way or mm. find a way mm. make it happen so mm. we we did make it happen mm. i mean i'm not too proud of of this at all <laughs> uh, like me and my colleague before doing this uh. really asked us i said are we sure we want to do this but we had no choice uh. Uh, if we didn't do that uh. we wouldn't have had the show next day morning because our screens would have just had two holes mm-hmm. and nothing else mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. we had no option we did it but mm-hmm. uh, i mean today at after whatever 14 16 years i'm i'm laughing on it that day i was frozen <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. i can totally sure. imagine yeah. what the lag gayi hogi and there could have been a criminal proceeding as oh, well yeah, it's a course. damage to pro- personal property for sure private property damage kiya aapne right and that too of a royal uh, not some civilian <laughs> yeah <laughs> but was your boss with you after the matlab of course wo tabhi to unhone manage kar liya hoga but uske baad uh, Did, what, what did he say? Ye sab kiya, no, kiya, so so I I mean, eventually, right? This goes back to to the the supplier. supplier hmm. I- if you go to look at it, it hmm. was, it was not that I didn't tell the supplier to not bring the screens. Hmm. He, he it was on up. his list of yeah. things to provide to us. Hmm. He for some reason forgot, or somebody forgot to load it in the truck that he was traveling with. Hmm. So the end responsibility goes to him. Hmm. but if you as an event manager or a production manager you'll always want to not blame somebody else because then you are powerless mm. if i just blame him and say supplier messed up what can i do then you can't do anything mm. but maybe what we thought when we did a debrief of this event is that if this was such an important event we were trusting on our supplier to come from delhi overnight and do this for us could we have sent one representative of okay. our team to delhi a day prior when the truck was being loaded to make sure that if we asked for 100 items he has loaded all 100 items mm. and if we went to that extent maybe the screens would have already come mm. because when the checklist was happening and the truck was being loaded my colleague would have noticed that hey where are the screens mm. and he would have said put the screens in the screens mm-hmm. would have come we wouldn't have had to do any of this drama mm-hmm. so instead of blaming the supplier and saying and washing your hands off it mm-hmm. you can say yeah we could have maybe done this and for high price shows like these in future mm-hmm. i think it's a good idea to go to the warehouse when the trucks are being loaded mm-hmm. to make sure that no no surprise happens at the venue mm-hmm. if the surprise is to happen let it happen at the at the warehouse mm-hmm. so that we can just pick it up from a shelf and drop it into the truck so mm-hmm. Yeah, and and I remember we we did the debrief with with our director, with the supplier, and we did tell him that we we trust you, and hence we didn't send you anybody. But if you do a high price show for us next, we will probably send you somebody and mm. make sure that you are loading the stuff that you need to load because otherwise you will bring us in a sorry state someday. Mm-hmm. I mean that day we had the screen of the royals to cut. Mm. What if that screen didn't exist then? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We would have had no face to show to the clients next day morning. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, uh, yeah. So yeah. Mm. But <clears throat> then, did you make it as uh, a practice? If there is a high, say, high value event, ho yeah. ra ho, so you send the 
send a representative to the warehouse lot of times lot of times yeah mm. and the other thing that came out of it is that to also have somebody standing by for you in the city mm. where you are doing the event if your stuff is coming from outside mm. we should have at least done some homework to figure out who is that one person in udaipur who can give us a white bed sheet for all i care at 5 am in the morning mm. my life would have happened Mm, but no one was there we didn't mm. we didn't bother to do that r&d back then because mm. we thought the guy is coming from delhi what mm. what do we need to worry about mm-hmm. sometimes let's say even if we would have sent somebody to delhi to make sure that the trucks were loaded okay mm. god forbid maybe the truck went off road in the middle of the road and an accident happened and nothing showed up on, on in udaipur it could have happened mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. you can't deny that possibility yes 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 in that case who's going to come to your, your rescue mm. somebody local Mm. who was that local we didn't know mm. so these are things that you you kind of learn over a period of time and realize that okay mm. there's a mm. there's a learning to keep for next show mm. that you produce and this was more than 15 years ago jab uh, you know whatsapp facebook utna wo nahi tha so you don't know where who is placed nothing at all <laughs> nothing mm. at all we all had 3310s <laughs> no 3310 <laughs> ट द सप्लायरक्रीन नहीं लेके आया इवेंट मैनेजर फ्रेंड मीट ना दीज आर द स्टोरीज दैट वी लाफ एट एंड दीज कॉन्वर्सेशन विल जस्ट नॉट एंड एंडलेस मतलब एंडलेस दो रात निकाल सकते हैं अगर पांच छह जन इवेंट मैनेजमेंट के जिसको कलेक्टिवली मतलब सबने इंडिविजुअली दस दस साल अगर ये इंडस्ट्री में बिताया है हाँ. ऐसे पांच जन को आप इकट्ठा कर लो <laughs> दो रात तो वो लोग नॉन स्टॉप बात कर सकते हैं अबाउट डिजास्टर्स आइडिया फॉर नेक्स्ट वीडियो स्टोरीज भयंकर स्टोरीज नाउ आई टू आई वॉन्ट टू स्विच गियर्स बैक टू द हॉबी और फोटोग्राफी के Have you ever thought of um, monetizing? Is not the right word uh, of sort of earning money out of it. And would the thought of thought of making money out of it kill the joy that you are getting of that? Uh. Hena? Because abhi maze me kar rahe hain koi paise ka wo nahi hai. But right. jaise hi aap yeh tekan lagenge, mujhe mahine me ya ek quarter me itne shoots karne aur itna kamana is cheez se, then How would it be? Have you ever thought? Oh. We are rolling, <coughs> na? Still? Are we rolling? Yes. So you want whenever you want to stop, na? You I'm fine. You, you can have. continue. Take okay. it. So uh, <coughs> currently, the way I'm looking at it is, I want to keep the wildlife side of things for my soul mm. and for my joy. Mm. I don't care about monetizing that. Mm. I want to do that because I love it. Mm. I'm already somewhat monetizing the. portrait side of things hmm. so what i definitely want to be slightly more aggressive on on the monetization of portrait side of things hmm. just to get to a place where i am able to generate enough money from the portraits to be able to fund my jungle trips hmm. so that this hobby as a whole hmm. becomes a self sustained model hmm. that you make money from shooting portraits or pre wedding or fashion or whatever it may be hmm. and put all of that money to upgrade your camera buy all of the 1000 equipment that i told you about hmm. buy the software that you need get the training that you need do as many jungle trips as you need and and get fulfillment out of that hmm. so one half will give you money other one will give you joy and it's a it's a sweet spot i haven't hit that sweet spot just yet hmm. i spend way more on my trips than i get from the portrait assignment hmm. but eventually yes the plan will be to hmm. strike that balance and make it a self sustainable thing hmm. and the trips as of now is made is funded by the money that you make from working correct. from having a full time job that's correct yeah With, that is also a profession that you chose that you like yeah. that you love doing oh, i, I know you're not doing it, it ke kisi tarah roti kamani is ha it's not a job yeah, yeah. It, it, you you do it for the love for what you do it's mm-hmm. not like chalo mm-hmm. office gaye mm-hmm. kuch karna hai 25 mm-hmm. tarikh ko gayi salary aa gayi khushi hai life mein it's not like that you you really look forward to mm-hmm. your every single day and and doing something meaningful mm-hmm. and something that makes you happy mm-hmm. I know this is a bit of off topic but I still would love to hear your thoughts because uh from whatever little conversations we have had you seem to be a very sorted person and 
Emang. Enggak. Oke. Oke. That's good news to me. Bring it on. <laughs> you will, once you hear the question, you will understand okay. what I mean. <laughs> uh, that um, I don't want absolute numbers, but in terms of uh, ratios, how do you do your financial planning? Say, I'm earning 100 rupees. Yeah, I've earned 100 rupees in the past 15 years. So I made sure, okay, I don't know about the youth, I would have to pay 100 to 100 to 100. But there was a time when I thought that I should save something, I should have a retirement fund, I should have a lot of money to spend so much, and so much. So if you could shed some light on how you think about it. Sure. Hmm. So uh, when I just about started earning, hmm. the amount was super small. Hmm. And hence, the percentages couldn't have happened the way I would have liked. Hmm. My internship, I know the first internship <laughs> I did was 1200 rupees a month. Achha. So hmm. if I say that I want to save 20% out of it, not going to happen. Hmm. So I didn't save anything till the time I reached, uh, I think, a 10-12,000 rupee salary, hmm. which happened in a, in a couple of years hmm. after I, I started. Hmm. But when that happened... Uh, in the very initial years, hmm. the saving benchmark was 25% of hmm. your salary minimum. So hmm. the moment your salary comes in, you take out 25%, give it to dad and say, dad, invest it somewhere. Hmm. I was because you didn't understand investment at that time. Correct. Hmm? I hmm. was, I was of a thought process back then hmm. because I didn't understand much in the finance world. Hmm. I was of an opinion that my job is to earn hmm. my father and my sister and my mother hmm. will manage it. Hmm. So my job is to give you an X amount of money every month hmm. and then you figure out whether to invest in stocks or buy gold or buy real estate with it or whatever you think is the best hmm. way of investing it. Hmm. But as the as the salary uh, kept on increasing, I also kept on increasing the percentage hmm. and without revealing like numbers or talking about it. I think currently with the current salary that I have, I'm in a... 45 ish percent saving a month for the last few consistent years hmm. um, because I don't have a lot of other liabilities as such. Hmm. I don't have a home loan to pay. I don't have kids to fund their finances or schooling or, you know, all the other classes and just like growing up expenses to hmm. take care of. My parents are pretty much on their own, hmm. so I don't need to kind mm. of take care of them in that financial sense mm. uh, which is which is very fortunate mm. and very well planned on their side mm. to be able to do that even after they have retired uh, many years ago mm. so i don't have too many liabilities and hence i am able to do a decent part of my salary can go towards saving and then that saving of course like you said has its own split right that x number of uh, x amount of money will go into direct equity some in mutual fund some in like sips and like different other things ppf pf hmm. gold whatever else hmm. but uh, that is not very tight hmm. uh, some things are are committed like mutual fund and and stuff like ppf and all of those are committed numbers that you have to do every month or every year hmm. but <coughs> <coughs> amounts in uh, hmm. equity is is very market based hmm. if there are a few stocks that i like and hmm. i want to build in my portfolio over a period of time hmm. and if i see that one of those stocks is is dipped right now for whatever reasons hmm. then and if i have cash i'll just go buy a, a certain volume of it hmm. it's not a commitment that i will buy two units of it every month it it doesn't have to be like that when it dips i'll keep tracking hmm. when it dips you buy it and hmm. when it's flying high you just have fun with it mm-hmm. by the dip and yeah mm. <clears throat> so but that is surprising to me because 45 percent is a huge chunk of 100 rupees you are saying you 45 rupees so so you are managing your entire all expenses in the 55 in the 55 yeah right yeah that is what i wanted to hear because in for for you for anyone to be sustainably be uh, sustainably pursuing their passion, uh, you need to have your finances sorted. True. Uh, otherwise, things will quickly start messing up. Yeah. You know? And I think this, like, <coughs> I'm able to somehow do this reasonably okay because 
for the last few years i have uh, ruthlessly prioritized ha huh. and when i say ruthlessly prioritized means if you met me 5 years ago i had 14 watches of the fanciest brands that you can think of i had 25 pairs of shoes from the fanciest brands that you can think of and huh. i did all of that ha huh. but at some point i realized that i don't need 14 watches <laughs> like really don't <laughs> At one point, when I looked at my watch case, uh. I realized that out of those fourteen, eleven were eleven had stopped because the battery had died off. Uh. So I took those eleven to the watch store to change the batteries. That costed me three and a half thousand rupees. Just the battery changes. <laughs> so I realized that I'm not paying for all of them. It's so much that all of them's battery is gone. Right? So I gave them all to me. Now I have two watches and two shoes. Hai, aur uh. chhe shoes hai. Huh. So I'm also trying to prioritize. Ke, is this giving me happiness beyond huh. a point? Huh. No, mm. I don't want to buy any more watches. Two watches, one smart watch, one classic watch. That's it. Mm. Yeah, mm. Workout, I do. Cycling, I do. Swimming, I do. I watch my I wear watch. my smart watch to just track the numbers and feel happy about it. Mm. Otherwise, wear the classic watch. Whether it's a somebody's wedding or I'm just going to office, doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. So. I think that ruthless prioritization has to happen because mm. if I continue to buy watches and made that collection from 14 to 20 mm. then 55% mein nahi ho payega hm kyunki watch ka paisa kahan se aayega exactly yeah every time main delhi jaunga ya kahin jaunga aur char pair shoes leke aa jaunga hm to kaise ho payega hm nahi ho payega hm hm to i think that prioritization has to happen hm hm <coughs> wow that's deep ha huh? टू थ्री काफी डीप काफी डीप नहीं मिहिर को नेक्स्ट टाइम पॉडकास्ट पर नहीं बुलाएंगे हाँ ही इज स्टीलिंग ऑल द पंच थ्री थिंग्स वर्स टाइमिंग के वो हाँ चार पांच साल पहले वर यू एक्सपोज टू मिनिमलिज्म या मिनिमलिस्टिक लाइफ स्टाइल या दिस इज अ डिफरेंट या खुद ही से थॉट आया ये ये चीजें कम करने का I was not so much exposed to that. Huh. Uh, I did have a fair idea of that school of thought and how how people go like coffee deep into it and like huh. Huh. go really minimalism huh. side. Huh. I'm, uh, but I think this thought came because I wanted to cut the clutter, hmm. clutter on the possessions <clears throat> I had, hmm. and extra spend on things I didn't have to spend on. Hmm. So if you ask me. When I like made a conscious choice that मुझे ये clutter कम करना है, I picked up areas of life where I know I want to cut down on clutter, like shoes, clothes, just like random possessions that we have mm. in a pen stand. It's a very tiny thing, not nothing about it. It doesn't translate into some big money. Mm-hmm. But in a pen stand, you will have six pens. Out of them, three are not even working. Mm. एक ब्लू चाहिए एक ब्लैक चाहिए एक पेंसिल चाहिए एक इरेजर चाहिए दैट्स ऑल बट ऑल ऑफ देम शुड बी वर्किंग सो दैट व्हेन यू नीड व्हाट यू नीड इट्स फंक्शनल एंड यू कैन यू कैन कंटिन्यू विद इट सो व्हेन आई डिड लाइक सम एरियाज दैट दीज आर द एरियाज आई वांट टू कट डाउन ऑन आई ऑल्सो रियलाइज के गिजमोज एंड टेक्नोलॉजी एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इज एन एरिया आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू कट डाउन ऑन आई वॉन्ट टू गेट मोर ऑफ इट आई डोंट माइंड बाइंग थ्री मोर एक्स्ट्रा हार्ड डिस्क बिकॉज आई नीड इट आई लव इट आई टेक केयर ऑफ इट आई यूज इट I don't mind buying two more cameras or buying a drone or buying a 360 camera. I know I'll make complete use of it. Uska pura juice nikal dunga main. Hmm hmm. Aur mujhe bahut maza aata hai isme. Hmm. So I don't want to apply the minimalism lens on on something that gives me so much joy. Hmm. I want to apply it only on things that that is not of so much meaning or value to me. The hmm. watch kya hi hai? ठीक है वो एक टाइम पे मैडनेस था ले लिया था पढ़ा है. Hmm. But abhi nahi hai madness. To abhi I have decided that jab tak these two watches don't either go missing somewhere i lose them somewhere or stop functioning at all beyond the repairable stage hmm. i will not buy a third watch hmm. so basically i will only have two watches hmm. that's all isme hmm. se dono mein se ek gaya to uska ek replacement aayega that's it hmm. but teesra watch nahi chahiye mereko hmm. hmm. so ha ah. it came came through some hmm. thoughts like that hmm. was smart watch uh, smart watch wala point na <clears throat> brought my attention to how much of a fitness freak you have become mm. huh where did the motivation come and uh, and where did, where does the discipline come from uh, i know you sp- last time we spoke you spoke about the trainer ke wo itna ye karte hain but bef- even before meeting the trainer the thought was there in your mind ke fit hona hai like healthy hona hai 
where did that originate and how are you maintaining <coughs> how are you maintaining the consistency so <coughs> to be honest i am not as disciplined as i would still like to be like mm. i i track my numbers says every disciplined very person religiously <laughs> mm. last year in a 365 days i did train only 178 days huh. which is terrible huh. almost about half huh. to baki ke half saal mein to kuch kiya hai हाँ. अगर आप वैसा देखो तो लाइक इधर यू से फर्स्ट हाफ में ट्रेन किया सेकंड हाफ में कुछ किया ही नहीं हाँ. तो नंबर ऑफ डेज वाइज कंसिस्टेंसी में बहुत स्कोप ऑफ इम्प्रूवमेंट है हुँ. जो ये साल आई एम होपिंग टू ब्रिंग बट द अटेंशन टू हेल्थ एंड फिटनेस इज अ लॉन्ग स्टोरी अबाउट एन अ वेरी पर्सनल वन बट आई एम ओके टू शेयर इट विथ यू एंड एंड हु अबाउट सेवनटीन ईयर्स अगो आई हैड अ हार्ट अटैक Uh, oh. I had a 90% block in my right coronary artery. So on a morning of that day at uh. 6 a.m., I had severe chest pain, sweating, jaw pain, this, that, and the other. Uh. I was taken to hospital. The doctors diagnosed that this boy has a cardiac arrest that he's experiencing right now. Uh. Uh, gave me the medication and all of that. Took care of me. Then we flew to Ahmedabad. Did uh. my uh angiography and angioplasty i have a stent in my my system hmm. so i realized back then ke uske baad ke recovery ke baad agar health ka dhyan nahi rakha hmm. to problem hai life mein hmm. and all of that was a result of uh family history hmm. not taking care of yourself hmm. extra stressful job hmm. terrible lifestyle terrible food habits uh no exercise Mm. so all of this collectively mm. led to a point where body said when i was that young mm. i mean 23 24 is not an age where you get a heart yeah, attack yeah so i remember when i was in the hospital mm. so many doctors who were not even from the cardiology department came to just see me that who is this boy who is 24 and admitted in iccu for a heart attack mm. like what's wrong with this boy mm. So I was like a piece in the museum. हाँ हाँ हाँ. सब लोग देखने आते थे कि क्या हो गया भाई तुझे? हाँ. So I realized कि बहुत जल्दी बहुत कुछ मैं सब कर दिया था जो नहीं करना चाहिए था. हाँ. So then when I recovered and and slowly got back to doing what I what I did before that, हम्म. I knew that some changes had to be made. हम्म. Uh, in how I live and how I do things. हम्म. If I didn't do that, uh, I won't be able to come out of a second one maybe. हम्म. You never know. Hmm. I mean, if you're lucky, you can. Hmm. But I don't even want to get to a place where a second one happens. Forget hmm. about what the outcome of that may be. Hmm. Hmm. So then you become more conscious of what you eat, how you eat, what you do, exercise, discipline, all of that. Hmm. Um, and that's how this focus towards discipline hmm. started. Hmm. I'm I'm able to do reasonably okay. Hmm. I wouldn't say I'm doing. very good from if you look at it from my doctor's point of view mm. he will still have complaints mm. he will be like me to to ye nahi karta hai to aisa kyun khata hai tera report kabhi kabhi aisa kyun aata hai mm. but yeah it's it's a it's a fact i have not been able to uh, stay at the top performance <coughs> level yet mm. but i'm i'm still doing way better than mm-hmm. than before so mm-hmm. it's okay mm-hmm. yeah right just got to know mujhe bhi nahi pata tha so that's a very very personal <coughs> story we i will ask something and uh-huh. we can uh, divert from there if you are not comfortable talking about sure, it sure. <coughs> i remember you were talking about we were thinking of going to uh, jawai together uh-huh. you know i have this fear of wildlife yeah it is there is a reason it is called wild life <laughs> because it is wild <laughs> main nahi ja raha apni jaan gawane wa wo janwar ko kya pata main kaun hu usko nahi pata ki isko khana hai ki isko nahi it will attack and eat me hmm. that's why i mean i would say jawai nahi jawai <laughs> <laughs> your punch <laughs> my punch ke meer jawai nahi jawai and then you were explaining ke yaar then you were saying ke marna to hai hi ab wo we i mean everyone make sure that you first of all you make sure that you do not invade the animals space right and there are tracks jahan pe jaate hain jahan wahan pe nahi aate hain log and uh, I, i remember you also mentioned ke jab ye sher adam khor adam khor tab hote hain jab unki umar ho jati hai mm. and they are not fit to hunt 
uh, whatever is available in the jungle right. they look for humans because they can't run Easy that target. fast and even in humans slow humans which are old age mm-hmm. humans they walk you can see that they are walking so even an animal can notice um the question that i wanted to ask do you ever think about because you have had this near death not near death but yeah, it near is death. near death experience near death, for sure right yeah. do you have you started valuing life each breath that you t- take uh higher and and how has it changed the way you live your the way you behave with people like they where you see even even commercial relationship right. logon se office mein logon se baat karna i remember because youth comes with this arrogance hmm right kya mujhe kuch nahi ho sakta aur yaar mujhe sab aata hai hmm even though we haven't done an mba but mane badu aavde correct right correct so did that change after after that experience i don't know about the the human behavior side but one thing definitely i know has changed after that experience is that i value the time i have here way more than i did before so and i operate from a school of thought ke i don't have the time mm. that lot of people think they have mm. so i want to do everything today mm. so a lot of times this is a a complaint that like my loved ones have from me Mm. And why can't you just sit quietly at one place and just chill for a weekend? Why do you want to do something every day? <laughs> But I, I feel like I don't have all the time. Huh. So I may not be around next week or maybe even tomorrow. So let's go on a trip today. Huh. You want to go to Jawai? Let's go tomorrow. Huh. Like you want to do learn something? Let's do it now. Like why wait? So exactly. I think that impatient. I mean, whether you call it impatience or restlessness or just valuing time, huh. that that quotient has got. few notches higher uh-huh. uh and i'll want to just experience as much as i possibly can uh-huh. without wasting time because i don't think uh we, have we all re- like i don't think we all realize the shortage of time we all have we all are usually into the thing saying are bahut time aaj nahi to kal kar lenge nahi mereko aaj hi karna hai aaj nahi ab bhi karna hai mujhe it's it's like that Mm-hmm. So yeah I think that is one thing for sure has changed in mm-hmm. the before and after for mm-hmm. sure mm-hmm. Mm, you start understanding <coughs> or feeling the finite nature mm. of life Correct. that it is finite it is not infinite yeah. it feels like it is infinite True. but it is not because on that day huh. when i was experiencing the the cardiac arrest right it was mm. a matter of few hours if the care that i was given and the attention that i was given in those few hours if that didn't happen for some reason mm. i wouldn't be here talking to you about it mm. and that can happen to i hope it never happens to anybody mm. but it can happen to any of us any time mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and and we saw it in in covid right like a mm. lot of near and dear ones who we thought are going to be mm. here forever with us mm. are are no more with us for mm-hmm, some reason mm-hmm. so if you like I mean and that's when it hit me that dude you don't have all the time that that you used to think you have so mm. get on with it do bhi karna hai ab bhi karna hai mm-hmm. to fir wo restlessness aa gaya which is also not not I mean I wouldn't say I'm very proud of that restlessness mm. kabhi kabhi thoda thehrao bhi zaruri hota hai hamesha yeah. kuch na kuch karna hi chahiye aisa zaruri nahi hai yeah. but somehow mai I think when that time comes for thehrao will happen एज ऑफ नाउ वो ठहराव मुझ में बहुत कम है बहुत कम मतलब वेन आई एम फोर्स टू डू ठहराव आई एम ठहराव नहीं तो आई एम रेस्टलेस वेन यू आर इन द सफारी वेटिंग फॉर द एनिमल टू अपियर एंड टेक अ शॉर्ट दैट इज वेन इट्स नो इट्स रियली लाइक दैट वेन आई लाइक इवन वेन आई गो आउट इन द वाइल्ड वेन आई नो के एनिमल अभी नहीं है तो आई वॉन्ट डू सम वीडियोज I want to do something else. I want, like, why waste that time? You are in the jungle, such a good environment. Why just wait with a like sad face and wait for mm. the animal that you are waiting for? Wait, mm. but do something while you are waiting. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So it's it's like that hyperactive mm-hmm. sort of a nature or restless. Mm-hmm. But good of it too, mm-hmm. bad of it too. But yeah, no, no, I'm totally aligned with that thought. As I know, that once again, I thought. कि ये करना चाहिए या जवाई जाना है या कहीं जाना है चलो ना मतलब एग्जीक्यूटेड एक, मतलब yeah. अब अब वो ख्याल का कोई लिमिट नहीं है वो वो अगले छः महीने तक आता रहेगा करेक्ट और आप करोगे ही नहीं राइट एंड लाइक यू सेड फॉर यू इट्स अबाउट लाइक हाउ यू सेड स्टार्टिंग दिस पॉडकास्ट सीरीज देर इज नो प्रेशर ऑन यू इट्स नॉट लाइक अ स्कूल एग्जाम दैट यू हैव टू प्रिपेयर फॉर दिस इज योर ओन विश 
you can do it today if you want to you can do it 10 years later if you don't want to mm-hmm. so if you don't create that urgency mm-hmm. it will never happen you mm-hmm. have to create it and say i want to finish it up before end of february shoot 100 episodes and broadcast mm-hmm. it mm-hmm. then it will happen if mm-hmm. you say ha theek hai jab time milega to karenge jab kuku free hoga meet free hoga studio milega mm-hmm. to fir it won't happen yeah yeah, yeah. absolutely and <clears throat> my next question i will segue into it by saying this that this is this was one of my dream, dream projects mm. uh because it is difficult to to show or to say anything within 30 seconds correct those who do it are geniuses i can't do it mm. for me to understand anyone and for someone else to understand me it requires a longer uh, format right and luckily for me and my times there is something called podcast where you can do it right agar yahi 20 saal pehle hota to प्लेटफॉर्म ही नहीं था ये करने के लिए ऑल दैट यू हैड वाज टेलीविजन एंड वहां पे 20 मिनट फॉर्मेट है विद इन ट्वेंटी मिनट्स यू आस्क वट यू वांट टू आस्क एंड द कन्वर्जेशन एंड्स सो लाइक दिस डू यू हैव एनी ड्रीम प्रोजेक्ट्स और असाइनमेंट्स और समथिंग दैट यू वांट टू डू क्वाइट अ फ्यू थिंग्स एक्चुअली इफ यू डोंट माइंड शेयरिंग या आई लाइक सो ओके आई जस्ट लाइक थ्रो ऑल द आइडियाज एट यू I definitely want to do a Mumbai to Valsad cycle trip in in a day or two days if I can. It's huh. about 200 kilometers, 190 something. 190. That's one thing that I definitely want to do. Mm. Uh, I want to go national park hopping in India. Mm. So maybe take off two months from work. Mm. Just forget about work, take leaves or whatever it may be. Mm. Or do it when... when when time permits mm. i don't have i haven't like set deadlines for it mm. but take the car out mm. go from national mm. park to national park acha spend spend a couple of days everywhere no uh, problem uh. i mean i don't have to see all animals all birds and every single zone of that park mm. but i want to go see that park mm-hmm. uh, and say gear Tick. done jawai done bandhavgarh done mm. so jitne bhi 52 hai ya 57 hai 58 hai Yeah. I want to try and do it like do all of those. Ha huh. but uh, 52 into even if you consider 3 days each park like reaching a bot time. 150 days. Nahi? Time lagega. It's time. a it's huh. a and then road travel in between too. Ha huh. ha. Huh. I don't want to do like flight business. Ha huh. ha huh. ha. Take the car out. Ha. Huh. Go around the country and come back when you're done. Ha. Huh. So it can be a it can end up becoming a 4 month 5 month project maybe sometime. Ha huh. ha. So it needs like it needs planning because you need to go off work for huh. that period of time which means you are not going to have the salary that you were used to having mm. and you are going to spend a lot of money mm. because you are out on the road fuel permits safaris this that and the other mm. so it will happen when when it'll happen but this is one thing for sure but won't you be able to find uh, sponsors for uh, such a thing because Probably. i don't think anyone has done it has aisa kuch hua hai isse pehle i haven't i haven't come across a huh. somebody who is done so it so it will be a buzz if someone does yeah, it for sure would it be difficult have you thought i haven't i i mean i i know it, this idea is there in the back, back of my of head hmm. i haven't like <clears throat> p- mm-hmm. uh fine tuned it or refined it mm-hmm, some mm-hmm. more mm. and one more thing i wanted to want to for sure do is have a have a piece of land mm. and build a bird photography hide mm. like a reflection pool Hmm. Have you heard of that reflection pool concept? No. Okay. So like quickly uh, I can tell you. Please. So you basically have a have a piece of land uh. where there are a lot of trees and bushes and all that and you almost create a studio type environment where you invite the birds uh. to come and sit the way you will want them to because you want that type of a shot. Uh-huh. So what you do is you create a very shallow pool of water. Ha. Uh. depending on what camera and what lens you have you create a hide at a certain distance from the pool uh. at a height where your camera is at the level of the water so uh. when the birds are either bathing in the water or or feeding or just drinking water uh. you can get like a really nice low angle shot of them with the reflection of them in the water uh. and in the background you based on your preference of what kind of background do you want in your shot you grow that vegetation there mm-hmm. so if you want yellows in your background then mm. you grow vegetation that is yellow in mm. color mm. if you want greens then you do that if you want some flowers then you do all that mm. 
so you choreograph that moment and and sequence and spend just days at the at the reflection pool mm. waiting for some animal or birds or whoever you are targeting mm. to capture mm. and spend time in the nature waiting for them to come give you that moment photograph film do whatever you want to do mm-hmm. so i i want to have a piece of land where there's a bird hide a reflection pool a lounge for my friends and whoever like fellow photographers and like minded people to come mm. hang around spend spend days there not worrying about anything else mm-hmm. so this for sure i definitely want to do mm-hmm. i'll i mean yeah hoping to build it some day somewhere yeah, yeah. <laughs> and none of these projects are normal huh? they are all uh, very aspirational like it will take yeah. a lot of time and effort to to do it but amazing amazing um i did not touch upon the i uh, fitness part we we spoke but since you mentioned the cardiac arrest no then i wanted mm. to divert somewhere else and then come back ke routine whenever you uh, work out what is it that you follow what are the elements in your control i remember you are a vegetarian right yeah so how difficult or easy it is for a vegetarian to get their uh, proteins how do you get it so i'm i have not um, i mean my goal with with fitness is not to become a bodybuilder mm-hmm. it's just to make sure that i am fit enough to carry on my my daily routine without any health and medical issues mm-hmm. and whenever i need to do my half yearly reports mm-hmm. that i need to go show my cardiologist mm-hmm. he should look at them and feel happy about it <laughs> and and not 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 scream at me for messing up something mm. so i want to make sure that those parameters are are within the ranges or in the acceptable limit uh. so my my main goal is that i want to go do physical activity uh. that will help me burn calories make, like do weight management make sure that your your cardiac health is is taken care of mm. and build reasonable strength Mm. Uh, so yes i would love to see like muscles and cuts mm. but the dream is not to see like an absolutely chiseled body which has like 7% fat percentage and and stuff like that mm. i'm also not very i mean let me put it a different way i can do much better on the food side of things that i'm than what i'm currently doing mm. by design i'm a foodie so acha khana dikh gaya to baki sab side mein khana chahiye <laughs> so that's a problem uh, uh, you can't get to a get beyond a certain level of fitness if you are not focusing on your food and nutrition mm. Mm. so every time i have tried to consult nutritionist and get a diet plan and do all that all of that had lasted has lasted a few days maybe a few weeks and then it has come Back down to crashing normal. and then one day when late night burji will happen at a, at a, at a burji wala <laughs> when cheese pizza will happen somewhere <laughs> when late night pasta will happen all of that will happen when naturals will pass through and say mango malai to chahiye hi abhi wo sab hoga but um, plus plus wo, you are someone who is like chalo gaadi nikalo chalte abhi <laughs> raat ko 1 2 baje kare <laughs> so i think i'm like i need to do a lot better on the food side of things uh-huh. and that's why also i am not seeing the results that i should be seeing with the amount of work i am putting in in the gym because you can do as much as you want in the gym if you are not conscious on your food side the results will take time or probably will never show mm. so i am i am in between that mm. uh, i am doing lot of sincere work at at the gym mm. but not taking care of the the stuff that happens in the kitchen mm. and that's what's messing it up but i'm i'm hoping to do better at it mm-hmm. all of us yeah it's the same matlab <laughs> gym to ho jata hai ya fitness ya cycling swimming sab ho jata hai khane pe control it's it's a, it's a, it's a thing yeah mm, it's a thing um quick rapid fire and then we'll wrap sounds <clears> good to me atio mm-hmm. coffee none <laughs> <laughs> not into tea not into coffee at all at at max i'll have a cold coffee somewhere sometime acha but not that subah uth ke chai chahiye ha. ye time pe coffee chahiye there's nothing like that <laughs> that itself is so, it sorts a lot of things you do i mean yes. a lot of people you know no for ways. them would uh, chai jo chahiye na bar bar chai that spikes up their uh, this thing and then yeah um when you that sorted <laughs> um you you traveled to australia no no australia baki reh gaya um us or europe 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 mm-hmm. jawai or uh, kabini jawai 
ड्रोन्स और डी ड्रोन कैमरा वीडियो ड्रोन वीडियो कैमरा और डी बोथ यू कैन डू कैन डू बट आई मीन दैट्स अ थिंग राइट दैट्स अ डेंटिस्ट स्टोरी यू कैन डू व्हाट यू कैन डू विद ड्रोन विद अ डी एस एल आर और अदर वे राउंड बट इफ यू टू चूज वन चूज वन देन डी एस एल आर डी एस एल आर गुजराती और मराठी इन टर्म्स ऑफ वॉट लैंग्वेज लैंग्वेज पीपल वॉट लैंग्वेज गुजराती ऑफकोर्स But what does it mean by people, Gujarati people or Marathi people? What? How would you answer that? No, I mean, who do you enjoy interacting Most? more with, or whose company do you like, or huh. stuff like, or whose culture are you more uh, so we, attached to? We are to sitting in Mumbai. You have to say Marathi people. How can you say Gujarati people? <laughs> But Maharashtra is more Gujarati. <laughs> Gujarat maybe. <laughs> That's true. May, true for Mumbai. May not yeah. be for Maharashtra, but Correct. Mumbai has more Gujarati. True for Mumbai for sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. मिहिर अ कम्प्लीट प्लेजर टू हैव अ कन्वर्जेशन विथ यू बातें खत्म नहीं हुई बट इट्स जस्ट दैट आई वॉन्ट टू टेक नहीं आई खत्म होगी भी नहीं गो ऑन बट नो थैंक यू फॉर हैविंग मी एंड आई थिंक दिस वॉज माई फर्स्ट टाइम इन अ कॉन्वर्सेशन लाइक दिस सो आई हैड आई हैड अ ग्रेट एक्सपीरियंस एंड लाइक आई सेट आई एम आई एम अ सीकर ऑफ एक्सपीरियंसिस सो इफ दिस समथिंग न्यू आई आई टेक इट विथ माई बोथ हैंड ओपन डिड यू एन्जॉय इट आई लव इट बिकॉज इट वॉज फन थैंक्स थैंक यू सो मच फॉर एक्सेप्टिंग थैंक यू फॉर हैविंग मी <coughs> खुद तो देखा आपने कैसे मिहिर ने इस काफी डीप कन्वर्जेशन में अपना कलेजा निकाल के रख दिया अपने पर्सनल और प्रोफेशनल दोनों ही लाइफ में पूरे जुनून के साथ और दीवानगी के साथ लगे हुए हैं वो अगर आप भी ऐसे किसी दीवाने को जानते हैं या दीवानी को जानते हैं तो उनके साथ ये वीडियो शेयर करना ना भूलें आपके साथ फिर किसी मोड़ पर बहुत जल्द मुलाकात होगी तब तक के लिए इजाज़त दीजिए वनकम